Eve, everybody, how are we? Welcome along. It is now the 2nd of January. 2nd of January, this year is flying, right? We're pretty much almost over. Hope everyone's well. Of course, hope everyone's had a pleasant day. Um, yesterday was quite good, wasn't it? We had quite good fun yesterday. There's a couple of new emotes that have just dropped into the uh, into the stream off the bay, off the back of some things that we did last night. So obviously we've now got our uh, million dollar man emote. Uh, everyone's got a price. We've uh, got a, a, a TJFM is for the kids, Wu-Tang emote, which uh, Rogue obviously managed to, to make us yesterday, which was lovely. Um, We've also, we, we could do with a falling upwards emote, Dan, to be honest. That could be a pretty good idea. We could maybe try that one. Um, the reason I'm kind of like hanging for a second is I forgot to load the game up. So, so I've got that to do now. So bear with me two seconds while I just quickly do that. Um, I've been getting a few bits and bobs sorted out. GX Loves, welcome in. Hope you're well. Pleasure to see you. Fat Nigel, of course, in as well. Razio's here. Rogie's here. Uh, Scoots is here. Welcome, Scoots. And there is, sadly, there is no trifle tonight i do like the idea of an eclair though maybe we'll do eclairs over the week um that could be quite good fun um but then again it's, it's a it's a playoffs weekend this weekend so there's going to be like the, the streaming um schedule is going to be ever so slightly different um to what it normally is so we'll work on that and it'll all be fine don't worry i am just adjusting a bit of lighting there we go that's better right time to get into the big one it's time for linfield let's see what we can do confirmation there is no trifle really sorry everybody really sorry i know i've i feel like i've lost the dressing room already in this uh in this moment right now going oh god he's he already doesn't you know it's like it's almost like it was his thing and now he doesn't care enough about it that he just he just lets it go he's been like well you know we've had the we've had the whole trifle thing and now it's been and gone so um yeah there's a bit a little bit of sort of issue there with the trifle so i'm really sorry but um, yeah, I went to the gym today. I should, I, I, you know, what? I went to the gym today. I actually have, have would have worked off a trifle, so maybe I should, maybe I should do that. Maybe tomorrow, uh, so Wednesday, I should say. Sorry, maybe Wednesday we'll have trifle. Um, just have a quick little look at the finances. We've got some money to play around with. Still half a million pound on transfer budget. Wages are creeping up slightly, which is a bit of a worry, uh, given the fact we still don't really have any staff. We've got one coach, who is a fitness coach. Um, no actual coaches yet. Um, we need to bring in some players still. We still need to bring in strikers. We had a look at Kyle Joseph. We've offered him a contract that was quite frankly derisory. Um, we offered Aidan Marsh a contract, which I think was actually worse. So they're not gonna sign for us. So we are gonna have to look for loan signings, I think, when it comes to strikers, because for some reason we, we, we appear to have overspent, which I'm, a bit surprised at to be honest. Evening Hayden, how are you? Welcome in. Nice to see you here. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna have a, a bit of a look around and just see what we can get um, and go from there really. I mean, this guy's not bad, Magookan. 15 first touch, 14 finishing. Acceleration's reasonable. He's only young though, so it's that thing of like, do we put him in? Do we put him in to sort of say that right there, you're, you're, our, you're one of our main guys? It's a big, it's a big ask, isn't it? It's a very, very big ask. Uh, Romeo, again, we've had a look at him a little bit when we're at Port Down. Caden Cockcroft, we are going to get him, I'm afraid. Um, leagues for this one is very simple. We've got all of the British leagues hidden. That's that's what we got loaded in. We didn't, we didn't really sort of faff about. I don't think we did anyway. Yeah, on here. So we've also got France, Germany, Republic of Ireland, Italy, uh, Spain, as well. But, um, but yeah, we've got top. So all of the divisions, all the divisions, because of course the plan is, as you know, from the British Steel Challenge is to win every, every division. So division and cups, it's a tall order. It's a very tall order. It's um, at the minute looking like I've bitten off a lot more than I can chew, but we'll see. We'll see. It'll be all right. Yeah, just got to believe that. It's got to believe it's going to be okay. Uh, ben Morris, free agent. Akron and Doncaster and Stockport. Well, he's going to go there, and he really. He's going to go stay in England, I think. Um, this is a bit of a. This is a bit of a worry. Um, oh. Well, 
Why has that changed? Did I press did I press some buttons possibly? I must still have, have hot keys on. Sorry about that. That's not meant to have changed. Um oh it's because yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there must be a hot key thing, so apologies for that. That wasn't meant to change the way it was. Um I've not done anything yet to be honest. I'm just still just having a little look around and trying to find a striker still. So I think we're a bit um we're a bit stuck with with what we've got in terms of uh in terms of striking options. I know we've got a lot of money. And I know we've sort of given it the big the Billy Big Bollocks of like, you know, we are Ted DiBiossi essentially. But we still need to actually dish that cash out and be like, right, who's coming? Who are we gonna sign? And at the minute, I can't see who we're gonna sign that's, that's gonna like sort of steamroller the league. Um, Linfield are the best team in Northern Ireland. Yeah, them, them and Glen Torren. I mean, Glen Torren won the league last year, so you, you would argue that they are the best team in the uh, in the league. Um, Lewis Pino, breakthrough prospect, one thousand nine hundred quid. Oh, we can offer fifteen hundred. What can we take that down to? Let's take that off. I mean, he's probably not gonna. Not going to sign because there's a wealth of clubs that are looking around. Blackburn, for example. Um, evening, Leowan. Yeah, we are live. We are live. We are live. Despite uh, despite pressing the wrong button at some point during the stream, we are still definitely live. Uh, welcome in. Hope you're well. Um, so yeah, there, there's a little bit. So we actually have, must we must have some money that we can chuck up players. Then, so why can't we give that? To, uh, to someone like um, who we just seen, who's like Marsh, for example. Can we give Marsh a bigger deal? Right, what's his agent saying? He hasn't even got an agent. Brilliant. Joseph, same situation. I'm guessing. Yep. Yeah. Not fussed. Callum Marshall's an option. He's only young though, 22. I'm a Linfield boy, so I have a point to prove to come back. Lee Harkin, 16 for Flair. Is he more of a winger than a forward, possibly? I think possibly. Runs with the ball down the right. Doesn't necessarily score as many goals as we need him to. And Zombie is definitely a... Uh, a winger. Nice Glacken. What do we have a look at him for? Ross Hunter we saw. Mark McCabe. Mm. This is the thing. I'm 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 in this position now where we're sort of going like, right, we've got we're you know, we're we are one of the best teams in the country, and we might be going into the into the tight end of the season without one of the top forwards in the league. I just wonder whether or not we take a punt on someone who scored a lot of goals last season. Dave Tinto. Keep you on the uh, shortlist because you look quite interesting. Francisco Simmons. Looks half decent. I was looking at managing Lin Linfield. Do it, man. Do it. Get it done. They've won pretty much everything the most amount of times and um, because of that there's going to be an, ex an air of expectation I think um, so the Glen Torrance striker is the one the one that I wanted we can't get him because they, they want like a million pound for him so there's just no way we're going to get him um, Ben Morris is probably unlikely to sign as well three grand maybe we can offer 1500 not good either. Jerry Dorset. Okay, I'm on the shortlist. He could be a decent player in the future. Giovanni Gannon. He's got finishing a five. That's not that's not quite what we want, is it really? <laughs> One goal last season. Cal Hudlin. I mean, Hudlin's probably unlikely to come. We can certainly have a look, but I, I can't imagine that he's going to be uh, be looking to come in. 
Butler or Desjai, I don't think, as well. I don't think he's a... Is he a striker? I mean, he looks more of a winger to me. There is that, there is that, Barton, yeah, chuck them some money and, you know, accept that you're leaving very quickly. There is, there is that part of, like, shithousing about it to do. Hmm. I've not considered that. I've not considered that. What the really fast lad from Peterborough on loan. I mean, there's no way, there's no way RJJ is coming, sadly. Tell you what, let's have a look at Hoodland, though. He's a free agent. Oh! Oh, oh, Hewland's a shout. Hewland is a great shout. Ooh. Ricky J. Jones is transfer listed. We can't afford his wages. They would let him come on loan, though. Marcus Edwards. Marcus Edwards is clearly far too good, surely. He's the... Oh, he's from Salford, is he? So not the lad from Sport and Lisbon, then. Because, yeah, there's no way he's going to come. Max Thompson. Can't spell Thompson, can I? Max Thompson currently at Spennymore, finishing 1-9. He's had a reasonable time at Spennymore. I mean, Hewland could be the player, right? Marcus Dackers. Let's have a look. Six foot seven. He's bigger than, than you remember. You've gone down to six foot five. That's like, that's basically a poacher. Six foot seven's a target man. Let's have a look there. So Thompson won't come. In that at Was Watford, Shaq Ford. He's just uh, scored on his debut for um, for York today. Carlisle. Don't know too much about him. He's not really played a lot of football, has he? Is he highly rated, Rick? It's fairly quick. Hornchurch have made a bid for Kyle Hewland. Hopefully, uh, hopefully he wants to stay at us rather than leave. All right, Dakers has come in. Still maintain Bailey, Calamartio, George Hurst. It's all about money, though, isn't it? That's the thing. Seven hundred quid a week. We're wanting. Optional future fee. We can have the optional future fee in there, actually. Because that doesn't really make a difference, does it? Evening, Lama. How are you, buddy? Nice to hear you. Nice to see you. Hope you're well. George Hurst is very much getting games at Millwall, so he won't be uh, coming anywhere near us, I don't think. Uh, Avario. There's another one. What's he called? Bruno? Uh, Brandon Avario? Bear in mind as well, we're, uh, we're quite a few seasons in, so we don't know too much about him. He's on an amateur contract, so that, that's quite handy. We'll have a little look, see, see, when he, uh, see whether he comes in. But gaffer, gaffer, llama, llama, wait until you see this. This is what we're trying to do. You'll be a big fan when it comes round. You'll be a massive fan. We might be about to pull off something very, very Tony Jameson. From a suggestion from the chat, by the way. RJJ, oh, we can't afford. Take the mandatory. I'll make that. Gonna, yeah, that's going to have to come out. RJJ oh, is not going to happen. What might happen though? <coughs> it is a bargain. It is a bargain, but you've also got to think that they want the the monthly stuff paid, 
and uh, we might not be here as well. So I kind of actually maybe that's the thing. Maybe I need to take that as a thing actually and go. You know what? That's fine. Then we can buy him back. The wages could be a could be a an issue. Pau Kalsberg. I see this is the thing that we're uh, we're a bit too far into the into the save, so some of these players may have already left. So fortunately not not one for us, I'm afraid. Can you get a monthly fee for RJJ instead of wages? Quite possibly, possibly. Evening Lewis, welcome in. Welcome in. Look at what we're trying to get, Llama. Look at what we're trying to get. We're trying to get Kyle Hudlin in. Fingers crossed. Oh, Kalsberg, I think, is that how I spelled it? Yeah, that's how I spell it. Yeah, he's not going. He's not there, unfortunately. He's obviously left. Um, Pino's gone to Blackburn. So, yeah, we weren't getting him, sadly. Um, we'll try and get him in on loan, possibly. But yeah, if we can get Hudlin, I'd be well happy with that. And then there'll be a massive signing if we can get rjj as well we just we need a striker lewis that's the thing but we're not going to be spending uh we, we kind of want to get into the league to be honest really we want to kind of get get going on it so i don't want to just to sort of be like try this guy try this guy try this guy try this guy like you know because i think last last time was very much uh oh what about this fella who plays for bayern munich and i was like nah it's not gonna work it's not gonna work so so we need to have a little bit of a look around at, at what we can do. So we'll uh, we'll play about with it. You know, we do. I'm sure we've got a. Uh, I'm sure I'm, I'm I'm quite I'm quite laid back with this sort of stuff. I'm sure there's a there's a channel points thing for for player. Oh no, I took it all off. Did I take it off? Uh, yeah, I did. I took it off. That was the thing. Ah, let's see, that's, I used to I used to have like a channel points for player lookups. That's the thing. And I thought, you know what, I'll just take it off because we have uh, we have attribute masking, so it doesn't really matter. And then, turns out, didn't really matter at all. Everyone, everyone still kept going, how about this guy? How about this guy? Happy New Year, Gitos. Welcome in. Hope you're well. Liam Kinsella's pretty decent. Does Liam Kinsella used to play for Villa by any chance? Or am I thinking of a different Kinsella? We've got, we've got a couple of Kinsellas here. This is a friendly, by the way, against the Institute. I think we've got one more friendly before the season starts. Garang Cool. Where's Garang Cool play? Who does he play for? I mean, to be honest, if we get Cal Hudlin and RJJ, we don't need anybody else. Timmy Abraham, yeah, Timmy Abraham's pretty decent. So is Connor Carty. Again, though, these guys like trying to get them to come to to the top division in Northern Ireland. It's not, it's not an easy sell. It's not an easy sell, particularly if they're, uh, you know, in in the English league system. We could potentially get them alone, but again, it depends upon the clubs themselves, like because they always pull the whole like, oh, we'd rather they play with better players sort of mentality, and like. Right, we're going down that route, are we? Okay. Ball through. There's Marsh. Finishes it nicely. Frank McAvenny could do a job. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Have you heard of a guy called uh, Lionel Messi? He could, he's quite decent. Have a look at him. That's a good ball though from uh, from Scanner Marsh with a decent finish. Um, See, if we if we could get Marsh, I'd be really happy. But the contract discussions brought down sadly, so we've got to wait for that to sort of come back around again. 
same with Kyle Joseph, because they're probably good enough to play and offer us something. But, um, but yeah, we have to assign Pulisic. <laughs> it's getting a bit like, isn't it? Put your head on it. Challenge. Hope everyone's well, by the way. Welcome in. Hope everyone's had a cracking new year. Um, is that the Rodney Marsh? Yeah, it is, yeah. Yeah, I've signed Rodney Marsh. Um... Mikasen, just square it, just square it, pal. It's the first time someone has segued from Frank McAvenny to Lionel Messi. Well, you know me, Lama. Elisa Ran isn't bad. I don't know what that means, but. Kinsella, ball through to Scannell. That's not Sean Scannell. Mikasen, head up. Marsh, 2-0, that's what we want. Even Lioness, how are you? Welcome in. He's had the littlest one just like to smash himself off the wall as he turns around. What's a trifle? Oh, Gouda. Welcome in. Happy New Year, by the way. Trump Gouda. A trifle is a UK dessert, right? And it's uh, it's jelly on the bottom layer. It's got sponge fingers in it as well, inside the jelly. And then it's got a layer of custard on top and it's got a layer of whipped cream on top of that. And, um, and I started eating them a few streams ago because I thought it was a, a way to win trophies. And I won a trophy once, so I figured therefore that was my superstitious good luck charm. And um, so then the next night I ate a trifle on stream and didn't win a trophy. So, confused. And now everyone expects me to trifle every single night. So, doesn't sound awful. Not awful, not awful to be honest. Uh, not not really dessert for Christmas day, which was kind of how I was, uh, just kind of how we went into the whole trifle debate. Mrs. J used to have it for Christmas day instead of Christmas pudding. Heathen, absolute heathen. You just ate, ate fish fingers, no bread. Did you have anything else? Did you have, um, some any accompanying potato or maybe like a, maybe some sort of potato waffle or alpha bite possibly did you have did you have sauce that's when you find out later or you didn't just have like eight dry fish fingers did you because that's weird that's like serial killer behavior vinegar pepper and ketchup there you go like yeah it's not chocolate Yorkie levels. What? Hang on, hang on, hang on. What, what, what chocolate Yorkie? Chocolate Yorkies are awesome, though. We, we love that, right? Great head there. Evening, Nuts Folder. How are you? I've we'll tried for Christmas Day. Evening Buffet. It's the Evening Buffet Gitos. That's right. Not, not main showpiece dinner, right? Do you know what I mean? Like, you have it as, like, the later on thing. Fine, but during, like, on the actual... Christmas dinner, it's it's a Christmas it's a it's a Christmas pudding. Like the, the trifle gets nowhere near it. You know what I mean? Might have my seventh with a bit of custard. Seventh, seventh fish finger with a bit of custard? No, no, surely not. Surely not. Choco Yorkies are better than trifles. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Is Chris McKee still here? <coughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. I think we've got mo quite a lot of our players have have left. I'll have a check though. You do have a trifle if you don't like Christmas pudding. Well. Yeah, I mean, if you if you're looking for alternatives, then yes, but surely, surely, rice pudding and cherry sauce for Christmas. There we go. Look at that. I'm a big fan of a rice pudding. A bit of cinnamon on top, and then like a little blubber, blubber jam. Lovely. Happy New Year, little lucky Leclosian. Welcome in. I still can't pronounce your name. I'll still keep. I'll try and better, but. Are we ready to rip it up with Linfield? We are, although you missed an absolute cracker yesterday. We, uh, we're already out of Europe, by the way, in the most TJ fashion. We won 3-0, possibly, against like, the team from the first division in Romania at home. Like, and we looked amazing, right? We looked brilliant. Smashed them. And then the second leg, away from home, we went 1-0 up. They then pulled it back. They had a man sent off. We then had a man sent off, and we lost 5-1. And that was us out. <laughs> and I was like, how the hell have we done that? It makes no sense. 
Scandinavians in a nutshell get all the words and ingredients you're going to suppose them going now nah, we'll stick to our rice puddings hey there's nothing wrong with a rice pudding Gouda I'm a big fan of a rice pudding Mrs J is not so much a fan of a rice pudding but I am I like a rice pudding I made mango rice pudding with coconut yogurt swirl through oh Raggio that's that sounds like a thing of absolute beauty Where's that come from? That's left field and a half, isn't it? Very impressed. Very impressed. David MUFC, by the way, welcome and appreciate the follow. Clocked you in there a few minutes ago, so apologies for that. Callum doesn't sound particularly happy about uh, Liverpool. But remember though, Liverpool have got the, low, the lowest net spend though, so that's what it's all about, isn't it? Apparently. No cart in with the follow as well. Welcome in, appreciate you. Thank you for that. Boiled rice with sugar and vanilla, cool down, put whipped cream and almonds into cold rice. Mm. Alright, nuts folder. Fan of that. It is playoffs weekend, Gaudi, you're right. It's very exciting, isn't it? Lama's obviously already been in the chat tonight as well, so he's uh, he's very happy. So we're looking forward to seeing some more PvP battling. Get my horse and duties on. Be interesting to sort of get back into it. Will we get back in the swing of it straight away? Probably. Probably. Slip straight back in and like we've never been away. It's gonna be easy. Power Connolly, ball over the top. Mikasen pulls it down. Liverpool haven't said they're having a bad season. It's a weird season, getting Leicester vibes. Yeah, Liverpool are having a bad season, but you know, it is what it is at the end of the day. You know, if you buy, buy players from the wrong positions, then you're going to have a bad season. <laughs> yeah, buy Bellingham and Rice. Yeah, good, good, good one, Nutsvold. Yeah, yeah with, with, with what money, apparently? I guess, I guess once they get sold to a, to a Qatar or Dubai consortium, then yeah, they probably will do that. But then again, is Bellingham, is Bellingham actually going to go to Liverpool, though? Really? You know, he, he would definitely have a... He, he'd, have, he'd have options all over the place. I don't know if Liverpool's the number one option. Yeah, you know, he's not going there. Put it this way, he's definitely not going without Champions League football. That's for certain. All right. Mm. Yeah, City seems the obvious choice. Arsenal, maybe would be quite. He'd be a good fit at Arsenal. But again, they don't necessarily spend a lot of money. Or, of course, Real Madrid just pulled the plug out and go, yeah, we'll have them, because we want to spend all that cash. Yeah, so it's quite possible he does that. 33, oops, excuse me, 33, appreciate the uh, the prime. Nine months in. Very kind indeed. Yeah, I was going to say, Marcus Tarams, not necessarily... Uh, a gore either, I don't think. But the issue for the issue for Liverpool isn't isn't wide players really, is it? It's uh, it's centre midfield. That's what they need to that's what they need to address. We've given away another penalty. So we've really let this uh, second half slip, haven't we? Arsenal want Mudrek. Yeah. I think they need to try and get the uh, get the fees organised, don't they? But I could see them doing that. I could see Arsenal doing that as their big sign in this summer uh, this uh, January, sorry, and then Depending upon what happens, 
well, if, and Dan, I'm not going to say it too loudly because I don't want you to uh, blame me if it doesn't happen, but if Arsenal do win the title, then all of a sudden, is there an option for a little bit more cash being uh, being spent? Maybe. You know? Don't say it loudly, exactly. Whisper it under your breath. Nice ball. There you go, that'll do. It's, it's a... It's a friendly. Will do. Slavin Bilic deserves to be knighted after getting a win today with a right back at centre mid and 15 players out injured. 15! Oof! Wow. Forrest taking the title. Remind me of five months. I mean, Gowda, without without being disrespectful, do you mean the, the championship title? Well, they're not taking the premiership title, surely. I mean, they, they might well go and buy another 65 players in the, uh, in the transfer window, but I don't know whether that's going to be enough to get them through. Uh, he's quick. His finishing's not. He's just joined FC United. He won't be coming. He won't be coming. An idea what level in England should be looking for loans when I'm in the eighth tier. Yeah, you're going to be lucky to get anything that's at the top, to be honest. Um, you're going to be looking at maybe sort of like tier six, possibly tier five. Um, I guess it depends as well if you're if you've got someone who's like sort of quite close by, you might be able to get a bit of a link up with them. So they might be more likely to to ship a player to you on loan. But if you can get someone from the uh, from the top division, you'll be laughing. Nine-year-old from Doncaster. Mm. Who was that Liverpool lad that Smells was talking about? Newcastle lad, sorry. Garang. Garang, cool. I mean, he's currently out in a. Uh, Where is he? Oh, he's in France. That's so sure. There's no way. But he, I mean, he looks fairly decent, to be honest, man. He's worth 10 million quid. But yeah, he's just been sold. Just been sold, yeah. So he's not coming here either. Taking one game at a time. Love what Odegaard was saying. What was Odegaard saying? What was his... Uh, Livingston have made an offer of three hundred fifty thousand pound. I mean, if that's all it's going to take, and he's available for uh, he's available for loan as well, actually. Do that and let's do let's agree to pay <coughs> Danny Cadamartri or Bailey Cadamartri I should say sorry not Danny Cadamartri my mistake um, So they want to uh, to try and up that, do they? Can we pay five hundred? Am I supposed to throw two k? Uh, Carty's very interested in discussing terms. Connor Carty. 
10 goals in League 2, I suppose, is pretty handy, isn't it? Especially because of an emergency backup. Really? Is that all he wants? But he wants big, big money for that? You know, I'm not, I'm not paying big money for a backup player now. Let's give them some money then for Galbraith. Who's the star of the team? Our team right now. Um, our current star player is probably Joel Cooper, who's a who's a winger. He's 31 years old. He got um, he got a decent amount of uh, goals and assists last year. 14 goals in all competitions, 13 assists in all competitions as well. So, pretty handy player for us. Cami Palmer's pretty good as well. He's a defensive midfielder. He looks fairly handy. Uh, and we've also got this guy as well. I've got Owen O'Brien, who's a very, very good centre half, but probably going to lose him because he's uh, he's wanted by teams in England, um, Barnsley, and, and in fact Rangers as well. So we're probably going to end up losing him, but that's good because that means we'll get some cash for him. Sadly, that cash might come a little bit too late to reinvest it. So Julian Nyhouse, four hundred fifty grand. That's not a thing, is it? Can't get that one done. We can't get that one done. This is, we're going to miss out on uh, RJJ because of wages, I think. And we're offering to uh, to pay a monthly fee as well. Oh, Brian looks very good, doesn't he, Raziel? He does indeed. Dave Gudger in with the 20 months. Huge shout for Mr. Gudger, of course. Welcome in. Pleasure to see you, buddy. Just at the same time, Kyle Hudlin is announced as a new sign-in for Linfield. Everybody is going to be happy about that, surely. Huge is here. Huge news. How much is Marsh wanting? Marsh was, was wanting about two grand before. Um, but then he, uh, then he stopped wanting to negotiate because of the fact that um, that the uh, we didn't get the deal done. So I wonder if he's going to be happy now. Still not happy now. Hughes, fifteen pound ceremony tickets soon. Hughes is in. Hughes is in. We're happy about that. Boschko from Bosnia. Welcome in, Boschko. How are you? Favorite game is FIFA 23, Sims 4, anything else, mate? Anything, anything you wanna you wanna tell us, man? You're more than happy to, to join in. Even Mark King, how are you, buddy? We've not tried getting anyone from your Rangers side just yet uh, at the minute, but um, appreciate the follow, Bosco. How are you? We've got um, we've got uh, what's he called? We've got Cammy Palmer is in the team already, so he's already there. Um, we're just kind of trying to get our our heads around the uh, the team to be honest, because the thing is, there's a link up there, but. But it's not, it's not like a link up that's going to actually um, like benefit anyone. So we don't, we don't get a um, a sort of like oh you know like a loan option there. It's just or oh, there, there's a friendly and that's it. Um, and you'll probably be really upset to know that we beat Rangers two 0 in the friendly. So so we did that. Why is FM so expensive? I, mean, I, I don't I don't know I don't know. Uh, Game Pass is a good shout, actually. Yeah, yeah. I guess games, games are, games are, games are the price they are, isn't it? That's the problem. Um, so let's see if there's any any strikers we can get because we do need someone to actually come in and play up front. But I guess that's that's the problem, though, isn't it? It's like you can't, we can't just sort of like. You know, the the value of the game is is sort of you know averages out, doesn't it? Morgan Gibbs White's at Rangers. Wow. Interesting. And George Bio as well. Bello. I 
Very interesting. Ballin's your big prospect, is he? Midfielder? Hmm, okay. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, that's a good point, Dan, as well. Like, looking at what you actually get in terms of the... Uh, in terms of how much you play. Like, you know, we put enough hours into this to justify... To justify it, you know? Right, why can't we get him registered now? Is it because we need to take someone out? Three or four months. Take him out, put him in, there we go. Do that. Look, you can be upset all you want, but Hewland's here. Hewland's here, he's gonna score goals. All right. All right, no pressure at all, but we're expected to win the league. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, uh-oh, <laughs> here we go. Five to six favorites. They're, they're going to expect it, really. 1.4 mil. Let's see if the board will do it for us. Okay. They're not going for him. We have to let him go. Sadly. I'm a stand-up comedian. Yes, I was. Well, I technically am. Um, was is probably the best description, Bosco. Uh, Pre-lockdown, I, I was definitely a comedian. Um, recently, not done not done so many gigs, to be honest. So did like two last year. Ended up uh, ended up doing a bit, a lot more streaming rather than than uh, than stand-up, and then of course podcasting as well. Jake Wiggly, Wiggly going to take to to sign right ok just pay the money just pay, just pay the money and get them done <laughs> Benny Kuto who's, who's Benny Kuto I would tell you my best joke but they're not funny in English ok I mean feel feel free Feel free. I don't know whether I mean my my jokes don't necessarily translate either. So um, in fact, my jokes barely translate in English, to be honest. Um, Oren Smith is wanted by Glen Avon, not Glen Torren. That's all right. That's Ben Morris has gone to Accrington. Cadamartery can come in. Okay, so we've we've been <laughs> so we've ended up with a striker. Combination of Kyle Hewland and Bailey Cadamartery. Is that. That's not too shabby, is it? That could work. Paying three grand a month, though. Yeah, I'm the same. Yeah, attribute masking all the way. Trials. RJJ is our boy, Mark. Like, if we could get him, we'd be over the moon. But he's just... They want wages, and we don't have the money for the wages, sadly. So, can't really get him in. Um, As much as we would love to. As much as we would love to. RJJ better than Mbappe. I, I agree. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Yeah, I know, Dave. I know who who'd have thought it, mate. You know what I mean? Do I like dark, edgy humour? I like funny humour. So if you yeah, if you can go, if you got something that's funny, go with that. I'm uh I'm happy for anything that's funny.
thing is if it goes too far obviously i'll i'll probably just like you know i'll delete it of course but two three good players from corinthians casuals in the seventh tier um i think realistically all we're looking for is is a is a striker to be honest but I think Gary O'Neill wouldn't be a bad shout, would he? Five months. Mm, yeah, Dead Men Talking's great. Like, big fan of those two lads as well, Robin, Robin, Freddy. See, work rate of one to five. I don't like that. That's the bit I don't like. Finishing is probably good enough for this level. He's not scored many goals in his career, though, has he? Let's delay it for now. We'll have a think. I mean, Hewland's going to get us goals regardless, isn't he? Like, Pino's an option. Yeah, we just can't get the wages in on RJJ, sadly. So it's just not going to happen, I think. Do you sign Kadamari for just for Rich? <laughs> I haven't signed him yet. He's he's definitely there. It's a possibility. I feel like it should be though, shouldn't it? it should be my gift. I've signed Cal Hudlin for you though, Rogi. So that's that's where we're at. Ryan Curran. Cliftonville expected to be top goal scorer in the league. 33. Decent amount of goals last season. Callum Marshall, they're still saying he's going to get goals. 22 from Balamina. Connor McMenamin, we're not going to get from Glen Torren. Lewis Dobby, we're not going to get from Glen Torren. Chris McKee. Formerly of Linfield. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, that's the guy that he was being asked about earlier. Yeah, no, he's gone. <laughs> Sixth highest shots on target. Fourteenth in terms of goal scoring. He does like he does like getting into trouble. Oh, I don't, I'll shortlist him, but I'm not I'm not 100 percent sure. Uh, Callum Marshall Porter down. He's highly rated, but had a 20 game drought mid season. I do not need that. I do not need that. That's what I was worried about. Don't need that, do we? What we do need though is this. Hudlin up top. Let me see how this is going to play out. If we just suddenly like made the squad massive, I think we have a little bit, haven't we? Now Ranger plus Jamie O'Hara. Oh dear, <laughs> that does sound like a that's a combination and a half, isn't it? All right, let's see what we can do against Wigan then, shall we? Last friendly before we look into the league. Still two weeks to go though before the league starts, so. We're only playing one striker, yeah. Although Cooper and uh, Mikasen get up as well. So if we get some options with more strikers in, then we'll play more of a 4 3 3. But at the minute, it's uh, that god awful 4 2 3 1 formation that I hate. But now that we've got now we've got Hewden, we can go to 442, right? Because Hewden's not going to chase those balls down himself. Mikasen. Duffy. I 
actually, would, would okay, hear me out here. Would Hugland work as an engage? So like, drop him here. Have it sort of like hold the ball up. No, <laughs> no, no, he wouldn't. <laughs> I love that strange guy. No, Tony. No, no, don't be silly. <laughs> Gotta ask these questions, right? It's pre-season. Don't you scored though? <coughs> He's better in a two, isn't he? Or a three, I guess. He's gonna be a bit isolated on his own, probably. Even in Northern Ireland, he's not going to be sort of like running around or anything. Hewlett is good for being a big lump to bounce balls off at corners. Yeah, 100%. Needs to be a two because he can't run. Yeah. And Salah Wilson. Minute. This is looking fairly handy. It's bloody 4 2 3 1. I wouldn't have thought about using this sooner, eh? Power snatching at that. It's always a weaker foot in it. Asgard's still at Wigan. Like, for some reason, I always expect him to go and I always expect him to be good. And I don't think it's either of those two things. He leaves, but he's not a very good player on the game somehow. Duffy, inside, good effort, good save. One of boys, Power, Kinsella and Palmer and Hewland not really playing too good at the minute. Keeper, boys, O'Brien, Mika's and goals for it. Misses out, sadly. Pretty happy with this, I know it's only pre season. And of course, once the season starts, the, you know we will just will collapse, like we did in the second game against uh, that Romanian side. But still, yeah, could be fairly happy with how pre-season gone, right? I think we're unbeaten in pre-season. Mikkelsen's away. It's like Kinsella. Actually, if we got we're at the bottom of the box, we have yeah. Let's float balls in for uh, for Big Kyle and see what happens. And then we'll maybe put a second striker on in the uh, in the second half as well. Duffy runs the channel, pops it in. Hughes knocks down. Duffy should have been there actually for that knockdown. Making a target man as well, actually. Rather than as a pressing forward. He's not he's not doing anything, is he really? He's not gonna run the channels this huge. Kyle, if you get into the channels, that'd be brilliant. I mean I could, but I'm you know six foot seven. Do you want me to do you want me to do running or do you want me to just stand and be tall? Cycle the, the, uh, the ball, that's what we want. Keep possession. Nothing silly. Nicely tackle back, run back. Pulls in, Hugh nods it down. Mikasun tries to lob it. What's he doing? What's he doing? So funny, big man Holland sucks at head and yeah, he's not he's not great in the air, isn't it? But doesn't need to be. He's, he's good everywhere else. It's the sort of player though, instead of heading the ball, he'll volley it from the same height as someone's head, so... You know, the fact that he doesn't head the ball is probably why he's a bit more intelligent. There's surely no one with an inch, an ounce of intelligence heads a football. 
I'd love to see Brentford doing well. Yeah, I mean, they're doing very well. Uh, let's put Kyle Joseph on up front. He can go with, with Hughes. He can be the pressing forward. Hughes can be the uh, target forward and support. Cooper's on a yellow card, so bring him off. Scannell. Uh, one can swap out there. That should work fine. No one was bigger than Peter Crouch, and he could never head the ball. Exactly. And, but then at the end of the day, he also scored overhead kicks. So didn't need to head the ball when you can do things like that, did you? This is the thing, though, uh, Leo and man. There's, there's that much, that much money in football these days. It's always going to go around, isn't it? You know, you need, they need to bring in things like, you know, I always say they need to bring salary caps in because then you can at least level the playing field. But of course, the uh, the TV companies don't want the, the playing field leveled. That's the problem. Heading is bad for your brain. Oh, 100 percent, 100 percent, Gary. Nothing like three concussions you get a year in American football. Well, there's that as well. There's impact, in it? Because you, you're a massive person versus massive person with a helmet on, colliding. That's pretty bad. Or, uh, or boxing. You know, where you're getting punched in the head. Or MMA, where you're getting punched in the head. Anything with a head, I guess, is pretty bad, you know? I know that's how I until Beckham on the joint. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You know, that's the thing. Any, everyone, there's always stuff in there until until somebody wants to do something a little bit more and they're saying well, how about we just this once we bend the uh, the rules a little bit you know but yeah Premier League is going to die at City's success yeah I mean look it's not just Man City though like you know the Chelsea money came in years ago Man City money's obviously come in. Newcastle's money's come in. Liverpool's money's come in. Man United's money's come in. Like they just there's just that much money flying around now that oh, we've got to finish that. It got to the point. Even the TV deals, they were saying, was it last year, year before? I think when they they highlighted the richest clubs in the world, and out of the out of the 25 richest clubs in the world, um, I think 15 of them. I'm sure it was 15 of the 20 Premier League clubs were in that top list. Like, so you had like Burnley making more money than someone like someone in Italy. You know, it's just ridiculous. Like the second the second teams like Stoke started buying Bojan, you're just like, yeah, this is wrong. <laughs> this has just gone too far. Like, you know, what's Bojan and Bruno Martins Indy going like? I've always fancied uh, having a. Uh, Having a rival with Port Vale. Hmm. I mean, to be honest, I think it's more about the uh, the I mean, the, the, the play. But to be fair, the league's always been bought. Now, just as, as you say. The league's always been bought. Nobody wins the league not paying anything. Do you know what I mean? Like, Liverpool won the league in the 80s by paying more money than everyone else. Man United won the league in the 90s by paying more money than anyone else. Man City have won the league in the 2000s by paying more than everyone else. Same as Chelsea. You know, it's that's how it works. The teams who pay the most money or buy the best players win the league. Simple as that. You know, Newcastle don't get to second or third, you know, because they've because they've brought a bunch of kids through the youth system. Not at all. Newcastle have been spent two hundred million quid in one transfer window. Like, you know, that's that's a thing. And Newcastle would have been relegated had they not got a, a you know that new shady board that they've got. But then, it, but Leicester's not really the exception, though, Dave. Leicester still spend money. They've still spent a lot of money on those players. The manager. Um, all the backroom staff were all Juventus's backroom staff that year. 
granted they didn't go massively they, they, they did well they had players paying playing over their abilities so players like Kante they signed for pretty cheap he's clearly a really good player Mares they signed for pretty cheap clearly a very good player but again they, they, they were, it wasn't free signings it wasn't the massively expensive signings granted but the players still weren't pay, playing for free you know that was a that was definitely a um, and again they were backed by a very very wealthy um, owners as well at the time you know because the season before they were about to be relegated weren't they that's the thing always been the other day been conned by a bit of journalists and thinking something's new but that, that's the thing though Nigel, isn't it we're older we know we've seen this before this is not our first time on the dance floor is it we, we know what's going on here he looks very good I can't imagine he's going to want to come come on loan for. No, no, he's not. Kieran Evans, winger slash possible striker, false nine. He's been on loan at Linfield before. TPP three, welcome in. Appreciate the follow. Very kind. Hope you're well. A star player, Louis Reed from from uh, from. From Peterborough. J Ben, Greg Salmon, Joe Kelly, Billy Dillon. He's not he's not that great a striker. Quinn Bartley. I don't think he's that good a striker. Alistair Smith, I like this fella. I like this guy. But I'm not sure he's gonna be the guy. Max Robson. Far too expensive. I mean, maybe for another club. Maybe for another club. Bogdan Marion. The goalkeeper. Keeper slash centre half. Nice. Quite like that. That's pretty good. Definitely a sweeper keeper then, isn't he? That's pretty handy. It, that's a bit like um, what's he called? Uh, Sommer, who was the uh, who was the Swiss goalkeeper when he was a player. He, oh, he's retired now, so we can't see. But on his, he was he was or is at the start of the game um, goalkeeper and right back, possibly right midfield as well. So. He can definitely play on field also. You know, would be splashing more cash than anyone if they hadn't fallen in the hands of people just bleed them for money. It's it's all about spending the money well as well, at the end of the day, isn't it? You know? Like you can have all the cash in the world, but if you spend it badly. Playing MLS and FM22 is surprisingly fun, not as weird as I've been led to leave with the weird transfer rules. I enjoyed the MLS Gouda. Like it took me I couldn't play on stream. I couldn't play on stream because I'd just find it too confusing. And I miss stuff anyway when we're doing it this way. And I completely miss things if I was doing it uh, on stream. But I, uh, we can't afford you. We can't afford you, RJJ. Maybe on the last day of the season. Maybe on the transfer deadline, we'll get we'll get you. But at this, at this, we'll see. Top players odds. Look at that. Steen Power, Owen O'Brien, Grajak. And our boys, Paul Sullivan, apparently one of the top players. Confusion is your friend, Jürgen Sommer. Yes, that's the guy, yeah. Jürgen or Jan Sommer. Is it not Jan Sommer? Edison played fullback. Did he? I mean, that, it probably makes sense, though, when you, when you look at the way that he plays. Another injury. Performance analysis, we don't need performance analysis just yet. Luis Pino, now is he? Oh. Lack of team ethic can put. It's just the fact he's fast, isn't it? Nah, let's cancel that. That's not that's not the right the right deal.
Wrigley side. Good. What about Chile try and sign Mr. Diaz? Yeah, I tried to sign him for Sunderland on my game as well, but they wanted a little bit too much money. So, he's a very good player. Very good player. Evening, Max Kauser. How are you? Welcome in. We can make an offer for Mark Dawson now. Are they going to let us have him for cheaper now? I still look at all this money that needs to be paid. We need another chill of air. <laughs> I, think, I think we do, actually. I think we do. It's a bit, bit boring, isn't it? Goalkeeper position or collecting the ball properly now. Tyler De Cruz is a, is a weird player, is he? I'm not sure if he's still going to be in, though. Even Mr. Jamin, how are you? Max Cruz on vacation in Stockholm with a girl. Nice, 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 nice. Well played. Well played to you. <coughs> I, mean, I appreciate that, you know, that if you're out there having a having a lovely time and figuring, you know what we you know what's gonna spice this uh, evening up is a bit of a bit of TJ football manager stream. Then you're it. I like your style. We had a lovely new year, thank you. Very nice Christmas, so all all fantastic. Enjoyed it. Hope yours was good too. Uh, Matthew Shelvin. Glenn Avon, six foot two. A former Linfield. Oh, he's just he's just signed. He's just signed. I think we looked at him initially, didn't we? I think he was someone we went, went for straight away. Callum Taylor might be there. I mean, how are these? Uh, who wouldn't stick the stream as a late night couple watch? Mad people, that's who. Hey, you know what? This is a thing, right? This is a thing. Six foot four goalkeeper might not be him. These are my these are my people. These are my people. Here at home waiting for season five at Norgeland. Nice. Goalkeeper slash striker. Excellent. Love a bit of that. He's only 5'11. He's too tall to be bought to be either. Tyler Cruz is the old Jogger Benito ad with Rooney. Really? Connor Bingham has been approached. Remove him from shortlist. I think I've. I think I've made a few offers for players and I've now got confused as to who I've who have been offering. Kennedy's out for three months. 30 goals with a keeper and a goalkeeper. Is that what happened to that, to that lad, was it? That's 51 conceded. We don't know whether he's actually scored or this is the problem, is it? You know what I mean? It's be interesting to find out how many scored. That's the thing. We're all totally normal. We're all totally, totally normal. Tyler De Cruz, we've, we've tried to meet. We, he's not. He's not showing up. So it's possible that he's already gone from the game. I'm afraid. I wanted to ask you a long time ago where you're from if it's not a secret. No, no, not, not a secret at all. Not a secret at all. I'm from the uh, the northeast, so I'm from originally from a place called Washington, which is like halfway between Sunderland and, Sunderland and Newcastle, uh, up in the northeast. So that's my uh, that's my stomping ground up there. So Ethan Souza has gone to pour it down. Evening, Owen. Did we get relegated with Duncan? <laughs> You're not going to believe this, Owen, right? <clears throat> didn't we? Didn't get relegated with Duncan because we left. We just went ah, fuck this, right? Um, so we're now in charge of Linfield. We got given the job of the club who finished second, and Duncan saved themselves as well. So let's ignore that bit, right? That was obviously something happened there that they were fine with. Um, but yeah, we got ourselves a, a cheeky little promotion, so quite handy that. Cooper's out for a few 
few days. So we have to try and switch that around. Um, which means I'm tempted to go with, here we've got Warren Point. Where's Warren Point expected to finish? Now we should be looking to go like gung-ho on these teams, right? <laughs> we just said Cal Yudlin, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we figured the, the only way to win this league is to have loads of tall players and strikers. So we figured, right, who's the tallest player we know? Cal Hewlin, get him in. That'll work. Um, I quite like this lad as well. 16-year-old O'Kane. Do we try and go for the 4-3-3 three, three at this point? Do corner set pieces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, we've got all that set. We're just going to move that in because we might change the uh, to a 4 3 3. Um, Scannell can be the in, can be inverted there, can't he? Tony just needs to find his O into his Hesky. Yeah, I just, I just need just a small player who's just going to run really fast that's all I need now um, and when I find him oh when I find him I'll be happy I'll be very happy Kieran Evans false nine doesn't have great jumping reach doesn't need it because he'll be up with a uh, with our top boys up front, right? Two DMs or CMs. Is this Northern Irish side number three? I think this is number four, Scott. <laughs> this is this is number four. We, we, we're going through them pretty quickly. Like, this is becoming Builder Nation at this point now. Um, Yeah, we've had Bambridge, we've had Portadown, we've had Dungannon, and now we're at Linfield. Yeah, this is number four. So it's not been it's not been plain sailing, right? But we've fought, but we've always fallen upwards, which is which is really handy. So at this point, we're now just chucking money at things, going like, "Oh, is that a problem? Oh, how much would it cost for that problem to go away? How long did the Gannon last? Oh, like, it felt like it lasted forever, but it didn't really. Uh, trophy count is still a, a very depressing three, Dave." Three out of thirty-three, but but what we got though, what we got out, out of Dungannon was we got we got the trophy that we needed, right? So we turned up, we won the trophy that we were that they knocked us out of. So there's our thing. Get that in. Everyone's happy, um, apart from the fact that we weren't particularly good in the league. So we're struggling there. So we thought, right, let's just you know jump out straight away. Resign because we were we thought we were pretty much taking them down essentially. How we ended up with a with with this next bit, I don't know. Um, let's go for Kadamari. Let's let's bring him in. See what see what he can do. He should theoretically be good enough for this level, shouldn't he? No. So Kadamari and Hudlin. We'll do that. And then, of course, we've got some actual players as well, our, our own youngsters. He's scoring a few in the challenge, is he? See, he's not, he's not banging them in for me just yet, but then again, nobody really is. I'm... Um, I'm very much taking my time with, <laughs> with that. We're going very slowly. Um, success is very slow. Very, very slow on this. Harry Norton, let's take you out then because you're not going to be... You're not going to be needed, Harry Norton. So we're about to potentially, at some point, uh, start the season. 
Feels like it's been a while, hasn't it? It's been a long time. Right, we're not letting anybody else go. Everyone's staying now. Lan wants Siggy. Nah, he's not quite good enough now, is he, for us? For what we want. Reopen talks. No, we're fine, thanks. Bet McLean, the second round. Let's draw all teams. Linfield versus Warren Point. Okay. So we haven't uh, so we haven't won the Bet McLean yet. Also got quite a few trophies in this uh, in this potential haul that we haven't got. So we'll definitely take a look. Well things like uh the County Antrim Shield, the Steel and Sons Cup here. So yeah, quite a bit. What's our current uh setup like? Can seller and want. Fine, we're not gonna change that. We'll keep that as it is then. I should put my uh put my bits and bobs in, shouldn't I? For the data hub. Excuse me. All right, let's get this loaded up again because we need, we like all this, don't we? Or at least I do anyway. Uh, right, XG match, story, match momentum. I would like it if it just, and I've said it before, I would like it if it just saved and just stayed. That'll be good. But apparently that's not a thing. I don't know whether that's a skin issue or that's a football manager issue. I'm not sure. Uh, Pass is attempted. There we go. Defensive efficiency. Tackling. Tackling. Do you remember that? Do you remember we used to do tackles? Tackles. Aerial, this should be this should be filled in clearly with uh, Kyle Hewland. Possession. Hopefully Kadamari's gonna be decent as well, man, because I'd like him to be to be a half decent player, otherwise we have balls this one up massively. Because this is essentially our we have to win now, because theoretically we're the best team in the uh, in the league. Or at least like, you know, one of the top two. If we don't score now, then like, if we don't win now, then it's just gonna be like, yeah, we're like, we're absolutely done. We're just we're done for now. Like, uh, advanced goalkeepers, passing goalkeepers. Tackling, aerial. Where's aerial? Actually, no, that's right. Aerial defenders, that's what we want. Yeah. Passing midfielders. Assisting midfielders as well. Shooting for forwards. And goal output. There you go. Done, right. Take that off. And then move that. There. Done. Right. Sorted. Is Super Aiden still playing? Who's now? Who's Super Aiden? Who is Super Aiden? Let me let me know who that might be. Evening A fifteen. Welcome in, by the way. Nice to have you back. Just in time for the start of the season. Aiden McGeady, no, he's he's long gone. He's long gone, isn't he? Like, there's no way that McGeady's still playing, surely. Big fan of Calamartery. Thank you very much, George. Appreciate you being here. I've just seen that you've just been in the uh, in the old Discord there, so. I figured Calamartery and and um, and Hewland. Could be a could be a decent partnership. 
Do you know what I mean? Could be. Fonda Ibrox for you. Oh, really? <laughs> Did you enjoy it? <laughs> Point to point in it. Here's my uh, here's my new emote for that. You know, respect the point. Respect the point. Linfield Swift to enter the development league. Oof. Head of youth development. Who can we get in? I mean, does it really matter? It doesn't. The plan is we're not going to be here for much longer. Hopefully. Right. right. You can. Right, we'll, we'll go for you, Colin Armstrong. Right. Let's see if you fancy it. How have you managed to land this job? I've got no idea. No idea whatsoever. Like, we have fallen into this. Like. <laughs> Like, like there's there's falling up right and then there's and then there's this and i think this is ridiculous because we should never be in a situation where we're where we're doing this job right here like not at all not at all like we were feels like every stream is a new team i mean but it is a little bit Jordan it's like I guess it's part of the problem with this sort of challenge is that it, it's going to be one of those things where we do sort of like get into that situation where we will end up changing a bit more regularly than I'd like um, and obviously we are looking some of these uh, it's managing a non-league in France and the PSG can call it yeah exactly yeah exactly and and that's the thing like because of the fact that we are trying to to win trophies we, we sort of do have to move to these teams and it's not quite the way that I like to manage if I was doing it myself like I would kind of like to, I'd, to for me I'd still be a Bambridge you know trying to sort of like struggle on and see if we can get get a move on but once I understood and once I you know remembered about the fact that well actually we sort of need to be pushing on for things then you know, changing and moving to clubs who are bigger and better is kind of what needs to happen, really. Um, so these are the competitions that we've got to go for this year. So the, so the Premiership, obviously, the Irish Cup, the Bet McLean, the Antrim Shield, and the SPFL Trust Trophy as well, to be honest. So that's another another good one. Once we're done with Linfield, we're off to another country. We will be, but then remember, we, ha we haven't finished in the uh in northern ireland though that's thing we'll have to come back later on to finish stuff off because uh still got all those regional cups in division three that we had that we didn't do so got them yeah can't wait to rock up in the scottish league too i'm looking forward to scotland right i really am okay no we do need to come back yeah yeah we do <laughs> Yeah, we do. We haven't, we haven't thought this through fully, um, but we have. We, we know exactly what we need to do. We know how it's going to be, but it's going to be fun. We're going to come back with like a little bit. We're going to come back with a little something different, right? Uh, actually, let's stick with where the ball in the box for now. Low crosses here. Hope we end up at Dunbarton. I mean, look, I'd like to be. I'd like us to be there for uh, at St Mirren to be honest that's where I'd like to be I'd like to go there I'd be, I, I love Scotland. Scotland Scotland didn't like me there's a lot of there's a lot of teams in this uh, in this league that don't in this game sorry that don't like me so I can't really take it as though it's 100% my fault <laughs> Aberdeen were not fans I'd like a redemption arc actually with Aberdeen that would be pretty good if we uh, if we turned up and were like actually you know what it's good. We've won. Brilliant. That'd be awesome. But let's face it, we probably need to manage Celtic. Scottish footballers, where managers go, number four. <laughs> they don't deserve you. <laughs> well, to be fair, there's a little bit of, I feel really bad for having to uh, to go there. So 
I feel as though wherever I go is going to ruin a lot of people's time. Cali won 6 1, two on goals, six shots on target. Beautiful, beautiful. A Billy Connolly sketch, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Connolly's, Connolly's amazing. The GOAT, the absolute GOAT. So, Linfield wearing our away kit of uh, white and red. Warren Point at home in the uh, in the blue and blue. <clears throat> Free kick. O'Brien oh, with an absolute shit pinger. What a strike. That's a centre half doing that. No, no wonder he's wanted by a, by a league club. <clears throat> Duffy getting himself involved, wins the ball back. Plays in Calamari. Palmer hits it over the top. Oh, now we've just got to see this game out now. <laughs> 1-0 up. Nothing, nothing silly, boys. A second or third would be really handy. Good ball down the line. Kinsella. Scannell nods it down. There's Duffy. Puts it wide. Yeah, we've managed to do a, a fair bit of, bit of loaning. Some Premier League, uh, sorry, not some Premier League, but some, some English League players in there. A couple of free signs as well. Appreciate the uh, the extra water as Bailey Calamari goes through, gets himself his debut goal. Duffy on loan from Bolton. Calamari on loan from Sheffield Wednesday. <clears throat> oh, hang on, hang on. A seven litres I've got to drink. It probably is, to be honest, though. And I'll, uh, and I will. Was he one of yours? Was he Barton? header from Wilson there wasn't it fly to Mikas a great run from Duffy back inside Kinsella <laughs> what a goal look at Wilson winning the header here Mikas with an excellent ball Duffy runs around there in behind Kinsella bang what a goal 3-1 Dare look at the league table. <gasps> Did you see what I saw? It's going to be a long fall from grace now, isn't it? Kinsella, Wilson. Gets the byline, Kinsella. Scan all straight at the keeper. I mean, three one and a half times good. Three two and a half times not great. We don't. How have we considered two goals? Like, do you know what I mean? It's been it's been all of us, all of us, and then it's like, right, here's a goal. <clears throat> That's out of the way. Oof, decent effort from distance. But Brian and Boys both in yellow cards though. That's not. That's not helpful. Boys is uh, complacent. Let me change him for want. 
Scannell's doing decent enough on the uh, on the wing, but then Cooper can possibly come on. Actually, let's replace uh, Mikasen. Do that because he's on a six-five. Ball Cooper's through. Oof. Kinsella up over the top. Scandal chasing it. Not going to get it. Do we push on at this point? Do we leave it as 3 2 is not a score I'm comfortable with? I feel like maybe it's Hewland time. Cooper back to Duffy. If you're struggling with tactics, then you can discuss it in the Discord. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's not. Like, people obviously will help, help you out, help you guys out. But the stream's obviously not like, or oh, can someone fix this for me, please? Like I need all the instructions and stuff. That's not how it works. Like ask for a bit of a ask for a bit of advice, brilliant. You know, but there's plenty of plenty of places to to have a little look around. As I say, we've got, there's a tactic section in the Discord, so it's worth a bit of a, a bit of a look in there. Have a good tackle. Right, now now everyone calm down please. Every tactic works differently with every team as well. You got to remember that. So it's not just you know, a, it's not like a one size fits all. Like a tactic isn't necessarily a tactic that's going to work every single time because things are different, teams are different, players are different. You know, like there's just different things. You know, use it as a uh, something to work with. Scannell, Cooper with the header. Big Hughes is on. Cooper back inside. Power. Don't give the ball away, Palmer. Lovely ball. Duffy to Cooper. I, mean, I still don't understand how we've conceded two goals here. We've been all over them. They've had two shots. They've scored from both. Please, not this one. Hughes, lovely ball for Scannell. Get your head back up. Field, I'm panicking. <laughs> this is like, what's wrong with this game? Kinsella, Scannell, Cooper deflected out for a corner. <clears throat> yeah, you're doing good work, Lewis.
victory. Sweet, sweet victory. Who'd have thought? First three points, done. Not top though, Derger top. Derge won 4 0, Cliftonville won 4 2. Glenavon beat Glen Torren. Glen Torren lost their opening match of the season. Oof. I mean, that, that's a big one, isn't it? <laughs> the thing as well, though, those Snickers, you've got to remember as well that the game is designed for you to adjust on the fly so that you might start set up in a specific setup but as the game progresses you're going to change because the, the match momentum will swing and you'll have to look at things differently so you can't just go like hell for leather constantly if you're lower if you're a lower level team then you have to like sort of soak up a bit of pressure hit on the uh, hit on the break if you're a top standard team then you're going to be wanting to try and force the issue as much as you can um and sort of like take the game to to your opposition so it's all dependent upon what it is you actually want to do you know i mean this guy plays everywhere so he's probably worth getting it right can't afford him fair enough What happened to the media backgrounds? Oh, have we changed? I think it changes when we uh, when we move clubs, doesn't it? So yeah, if you do like a sort of four four two low block with Atletico press and then heavy counter, yeah, exactly. That's the thing, isn't it? Right. So Linfield versus Carrick in the Antrim Shield. It's gonna be our first. Uh, First attempt at that. We've not we've not done that before. Hmm. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of cautious mentality, Nutsvold, on this uh, on this season. Like for me, if I'm playing. 442 low block. Evening, Lelujo. How are you, sir? Welcome in. Happy New Year to you, buddy. Hope life's treating you well. Welcome in, uh, Lelujo's chat, by the way. Pleasure to have you all here. I'm sorry for what you're about to be asked. <laughs> What's happened, Chris? Merry Christmas, well, by the way, editor Chris. Lovely to have you in. Hope life is treating you good. Let's get some uh, some hellos. Junkle in with the follow there. Ross F in with the follow. We're gonna hate us. Oh, I hope not. Caller, appreciate the follow. Let's see what. Let's see what's happening. Let's see what's happening here. Because I, I hope that things aren't gonna be uh, gonna be too bad. What's the weirdest thing you've ever pulled out of my penis? Ooh, it's a, it's an interesting question, isn't it? Has my penis ever exploded? Um, I'm not sure what the weirdest thing I've ever pulled is. To be honest, um. Just usual stuff, really, like, you know, cocktail umbrellas, batteries, that sort of thing. Can't really see anything that's particularly odd about that. Have we ever sat on an egg and not had a crack? Um, no, I've got quite stern buttocks. So that's uh, that's going to break that one, sadly. Buns of steel, squats. You know what I mean? Um, so who else have we got there? Uh, Weep how wax wax as well. Appreciate the follow. Uh, Datran guy. Appreciate the follow up. Penis can't explode into four inches. Did not know that. Did not know that. Beef Whistle, welcome in. Appreciate the follow as well there. Editor Chris, we've had a strange night. What size batteries? C batteries, clearly. I mean, are you not putting C batteries up there? Um, actually, only joking. Triple A's, obviously. So, that's the thing. Tony does keggles exercises, it seems. I, I do them all. I do them all. I've got to, got to look after my pelvic floor, you know what I mean? Dylan Coleshaw, welcome in. Appreciate you. Car batteries, yeah, the works, the whole lot. It's probably more because it's compact. There you go, Shady Saint gifting in on a tier sub to uh, to Chris. Appreciate that, Shady. Very kind, very kind indeed. 
how are we all anyway? Welcome in. This, by the way, for everyone who's brand new, is the British Steel Challenge and Sadie Shane as well, with a, with a sub as well. Thank you so much for that. Genuinely appreciate it. Um, this is the British Steel Challenge, everyone. So the plan here is to attempt to win 33 trophies, which is everything in England, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. We so far won three and we're in season six. So it's going slow. Okay, that's what she said, you know, but we're here. We're trying our best. We've managed Banbridge in the third division of Northern Irish football. We've managed Porter Down in the second division of Northern Irish football. We've managed Dungannon in the top division of Northern Irish football. We almost got sacked from them. Uh, we are now currently managing Linfield, who finished second in the, Nor the Northern Irish Premiership. So expectations now in this club is to pretty much win everything. So if we don't do well this year, we're leaving Northern Ireland, we're going to Wales or Scotland, and we're going to try and do something else. Now, the thing is, okay, is that what we've got, the thing with Northern Ireland is that, is that the, 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 the trophies are regional in the uh, in the lower divisions. There's the link to the uh, to the podcast, by the way. Thank you for that, Beef Whizzle. Um, Football Manager Show is out every single Wednesday. We're coming back on the 11th of January. We've had our little Christmas break, so we're coming back. Very much looking forward to that. Myself and RDF Tactics doing uh, the weekly show, of course, which uh, we're thoroughly very, very proud of. Um, and yeah, so the thing is, right, so you've got these, these regional uh, cups to win, so you can't just be one team. So like, say, like, Lelujo is doing, like, doing um, Peterborough Sports, right, okay? You can't just run with it and win everything okay and become the dominant force when you're in northern ireland in the third division you can be bambridge okay and you can play in the in these uh these ulster cups essentially but that's only from teams in the ulster area so then you'd have to move to be like another team in the third division who then play in for example maybe the antrim area you know so then there's a competition there so it's kind of like we'll end up having to go back at in the future having played like in loads of different leagues and loads of different countries we'll come back again and be like great we've just finished the spfl and now we're back in the third division of northern irish football again so it's got that sort of element to it um interesting things we've got here with with, with linfield we have signed tonight we've signed the big lad Kyle Hudlin has been brought in to try and get us the goals. Okay, this is what this is what we're relying on. Big Kyle Hudlin, six foot nine's worth of, of goal scoring sensation. Um, Lelujo, we tried, Kev, we tried to get Ricky J Jones in, but we can't afford him at the minute. We're desperately trying to get R J J in. Uh, we've got him on loan, and we also got um, we've got Bailey Kadamatri as well from Sheffield Wednesday. Uh, there is. There is indeed a, uh, not a spreadsheet, but there's a, a little graphic here. We can do a spreadsheet actually as well. So have a quick look at this, Oliver. That is where we are. I need to change that because that says season number five. We're actually in season number six, to be honest. Uh, but this is where we currently are, okay? So what we've currently won is the Bluefin Sports Premier Intermediate League, which is the third division of the fo of North Irish football. We got promoted, okay? We've also won the Intermediate Cup, um, and we've also won the Mid Ulster Cup. So we've still got the Steels and Sons, the County Antrim Shield, the League Cup, the Northern Irish Cup, and the Danske Bank Premiership, which of course is a trophy we can potentially win this year. Um, we obviously can't go for the second division just yet, the Championship, but you know we'll have to go for that in the future. Plus, there's also the SPFL Cup as well, which uh, is a is a thing that we can go for. So we might actually have more than 33 trophies to attempt to to win. Um, so it's exciting. To be honest, is what it is. It's going to be a long-term save. I, I, will I get it done? I don't know. Good question, uh, Fat Man Bully. How long is it going to take? I think, I think if we can get it done in 50 seasons, I'll be happy. I'll be very happy if we can get it done in 50 seasons. I think you get Osha, O'Sheen Smith. I think we've looked at O'Sheen Smith, actually. That name rings a bell. South End, 27 years old. Dungannon, that's where I remember him from. <laughs> we uh he wasn't there when we started, but he is on the uh on the shortlist then, so we'll keep him in mind. Must be incredibly difficult to win one of the smaller trophies like the Scottish League 3 if you move to a bigger English club. 
yeah, well, it just means you've got to go back to it, to be honest. So you'll start off going back into uh, into the um, into the the division three. So you'll have to then head back there and then go back round. So the rough plan we've got at the minute, uh, Dattering guy, is we're doing Northern Ireland first, right? I kind of think that Linfield is the last option in Northern Ireland. Win some trophies this season. After that. I'd kind of like to go to Wales, but the problem with going to Wales in the Cymru South or North, and bear in mind you've got to get, you've got to win both of those divisions, so you can't just win one and then be like, all right, I'm in the Cymru Premier and that's me and that's Wales ticked off. Cymru North and South have only got one promotion spot, so that makes that tricky. I wouldn't be against going to Scotland and going to like Scottish Division Three, League Two, and moving our way up. The common sense approach will be to go to England and go to the Vanarama National or the Vanarama South or North. We got offered the chance to go to Dulwich Hamlet, which would have been quite good fun uh, before Linfield, but we kind of thought we need to win trophies. So it's sometimes that sort of like what the heart wants and what the save wants are going to be two different things. So we'll try and play it as best we can, but there might be a few moves which are kind of just like we have to move in order to get a title, you know, and that's going to be tricky for me to to get my head around to be honest because i'm not used to winning a lot of stuff so this is that's what's going to happen this is going to happen um go to the mighty hollywell town we, we never know we never know maybe dylan cole show you never know denver mills but we appreciate the follow adrian rv as well i love you having cole show as well also with the follow there um i just i just think that it's going to be a fun challenge i didn't see many people streaming it and I think there's a reason for that because it's ridiculous, quite frankly. Um, but, you know, if, of course, as we've already said, um, if this is the sort of thing that you guys seem interested in, then do feel free to drop a follow on it. And we will, of course, be streaming it uh, every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. I'm also doing the FM playoffs this weekend as well. So I'm going to be hosting that. So we've got a few bits of things hanging around the stream. So, you know, also come and, uh, come and hang out on the Discord as well, by the way. Come and join the Discord because we're, uh, we're a nice bunch of people. You know, if, you, if your friends are Kevs, your friends are ours. So, welcome in. Make yourselves nice and comfortable. Also, if you are brand new, let me know who you're managing. That's the thing. It's not all about me, of course. It's also about you guys as well. So, let me know who you guys are managing. And let me know how you're finding FM23. How was your Christmas? How was your New Year? And also, are we going to beat Dirge? That's the big question we've got on our lips right now. Junk Uncle is an Oxford fan. That's obviously why you knew uh, O'Shane Smith. Oxford get most of the Irish and Northern Irish talent. So I know a few players. Excellent. You can become very, very helpful then, Junk Uncle, in this uh in this save. So we shall we'll keep our eye on you, right? Um so Fat Man Bully, sorry, I think I started uh mentioning uh, trying to respond to your your, um, your question. I've set myself I've set myself the target of 50 years. Right now. The fact we're in season six would suggest we are 10% of the way through, right? It's gonna be hard going, isn't it? Like the thing is, though, that there will there'll be a couple of um, seasons where, if we do like a double, for example, that's gonna be really good. That's gonna get us some uh, some trophies chipped off pretty quickly. At the minute, it looks fairly bleak because we've obviously had to start at the bottom. You start unemployed. You start with no experience. You start with no badges. That sort of thing. So hopefully, we're coming out of the bleak bit. But I can still make the game more bleak still make the save worse Duffy gets the byline penalty clap traps managing the mighty chipping and yes clap traps love that love it Mikasen puts his foot through it into the bottom corner there is of course also a possibility that I don't complete the challenge because that's the whole thing with the challenge isn't it you don't always complete it you don't always win and if we don't win, then hey, guess what we're doing next year? <laughs> it's, part of, it's part of FM24. We're doing the Great School Challenge again. Until we do do it. No, we're not doing that, because I'll be, I'll be old and grey and sad by that point. But older, greyer and sadder than I am right now. Good ball, power. Callum Archery should have really finished that, to be honest. Lewis is managing Leamington. Good shout. Junkle, quite a few of our Irish players play mostly in the Championship. Sold Luke McNally to Burnley for two million quid. That's excellent. Great business. Great business. RJ Pettit, appreciate the uh, follow as well. Yeah, thank you very kindly for that. 
Everyone is uh, dropping followers, but I'm, I'm genuinely appreciative. We're nudging towards 3,000 followers at this point now on the uh, on Twitch, which has been great, given the fact we've only been here for probably just under two years. Two years, I think, is probably where we're at now. So it'll be 21 months, 22 months. So I appreciate all the support. Very, very kind. Uh, RJ Petty, where do we go with the settings to get my full name and badges in the top left during games? What, like on this bit or or in the um it, i think it might depend upon your skin possibly so we, we're using the tato skin uh at this point so oh god <laughs> with a great goal <laughs> love that i absolutely love that but call i've just i just uh answered your question there, haven't i what about this for a for a goal right now palmer dinks it over the top calamartery all kinds of carnage there Beautiful stuff. Um, Dylan Coase, I love the idea. I'm going to try it. What league would you recommend? Well, you see, so you're meant to start, Dylan, unemployed, with no badges and no experience, and just apply for everything. So you tend to get, you tend to get Wales and Northern Ireland first, right? Various ways of doing it. There's a couple of people in our uh, in our Discord have tried it at the minute. They've also simmed on until like the 1st of January to just try and get some new teams in the, uh, when you start off, so you don't get the same teams. Just, it's good for managing in leagues that you've maybe never managed in before. And you get to sort of like experience some different stuff. Like I've never managed in Northern Ireland before. And I'm, I'm really enjoying it. It's really good fun. Even in the bottom tier, it was, it was very, very good fun. Um, there is a variation as well, the British and Irish challenge where you can add the Republic of Ireland in and it takes you up to 42 trophies, I believe. So, I mean, if you're a glutton for punishment, you can always put another nation in there, you know? Bailey Calamari makes it 3-0. That trying guy, current managing Wrexham, just gained promotion into League One. Relatively easy so far, but Wrexham is set up to get through. Basically where I am now, real challenge starts next season. I think you're probably right there. I reckon, I reckon once you get in the championship, that's when Wrexham becomes a hard save. I know, Dave, I know, it's, it's mad, isn't it? Like, we, yeah, we started off with that, like, crazy little moment where we got affiliate, and that was great. We had, like, our 50 followers, and we were over the moon there. But, yeah, we're nudging on 3,000 now, man. Like, I think we're literally on, like, sort of... I can pull it up. I can pull it right now and tell you the exact figure. We're on... One two thousand nine hundred forty-five. So we're fifty-five followers off three thousand. So I'm just saying, right? You know, if everyone wants to just hit that follow button right now, that would really help me out. A or B, appreciate your follow. That's very kind. Thank you. We're now under fifty-four followers needed. <laughs> um, Duffy Cadamarsh with the hat trick. Owen in with the follow, Samuel in with the follow, Liam Maxwell in with a follow. You wonderful, wonderful people, you. Appreciate you all. Owen in with a prime as well. Thank you, Owen. Very kind. Smash the follow button, says Leo Man. Exactly. And look at this. We're 4 0 up. It's not even half time yet. This is what you've come for. This is the good stuff, right? This does not happen all the time, by the way. Just in case you were wondering, going, hey, Tony's great at this game. I'm not, I'm really not. I'm a bit of a fraud, if anything. I think we've just we've just hit a hit a very, very, very good looking bit of form, I think. Um, well, the Dirge were top of the table after one game. They're not gonna be now. He says a little bit too cocky, thinking, still 45 minutes to uh, to play. I'm guessing you've seen Joel Cooper in your Linfield side. I have, he's on the bench. He's just coming back from injury. He's very good. He's very good. He was uh, the top scorer for the side last season and top assister. So we're expecting big things again from him this year. That's a great ball in. That's cleared by Owen O'Brien, who's a centre half who's wanted by teams in England at this point. So we might end up losing him in the. Uh, in the uh, during the transfer window at some point, so so yeah, so I think we bring Cooper on now. Scannell's not playing great. I think we bring Hudlin on. 
because I mean, to be fair, Kadamari's done what he needs to do. He's, he's already scored a hat trick. He's basically done. Um, he's basically done the uh, the Erling Haaland approach to us. I'll get myself a hat trick by half time. You can rest me if you want, Gaffer. Totally fine. There we go. Look at that. Top of the table now. Here's one of our projects didn't quite work out. Sold them back to Linfield. Oh, okay, I didn't realise he'd, uh, he'd gone and played in the uh, played in the UK, played in England. I have to do a bit more due diligence on him. That's a foul, surely. Forcing the guys down inside. Kinsella, Duffy, Mikasen, almost getting around the outside. Duffy's a player we brought in for, on loan from Bolton. He's a new gen, I think. He's playing pretty decently, to be honest. <laughs> I know, Rogue, I realised exactly once I'd said it. <laughs> Just like, um, I've made a little bit of a boo-boo here. <laughs> Can we sign your friend Jordan Dodd? Where's Jordan Dodd playing lately? No, it's not always down to me as well, though. Sometimes it's going to be down to your pal as to whether he wants to play. Mikasen, Kinsella heads it over the top. You know, I can put a contract out there. If he don't want to sign it, he don't want to sign it, you know? Ball over the top. I'm not going to press for it. Cooper misses the header. Nice header by Worry, who's coming from loan from Middlesbrough, I believe. That's Hughes. Nikasen. Pulls it back. Palmer with the header. He's like my friend Christian Pulisic. <laughs> He's the cousin of George Weir. Nice. We have quite an extensive knowledge on League One and League Two, which could be quite helpful. John Gongol, you're going to become very, very helpful. Very, very helpful indeed. So we need you as part of this stream. Huh? Duffy Mikasen, saved by the goalkeeper, who decides to kick his foot out. Evening to the mad scientist. Happy New Year, buddy. How are you? Hope you are well. Always a pleasure having you in. You all know the mad scientist, right? You all know he's the guy who makes the databases. Made the 93, 94 database last year. He's making the 98, 99 database this year. You need to follow this guy. Like, if you don't follow him already, like, why not? But get following. Get following. He streams now as well, and he's brilliant. So you're going to love him. Also, mad by name, mad by nature. Because obviously I do the football manager show with that leg now. Before that, I, uh, I did football manager therapy podcast with... Uh, Matt Richards, and then with Rich Owens. Rich Owens, of course, continued the podcast on himself, Jebaru, uh, the United City FM. We did a live show, booked it before before I left, sadly. Um, booked a live show. Mad Scientist only booked tickets to fly in from Denmark for it, to come and hang out with us for a night. Brilliant, great night. Really, really good night. We're all like, did the show, had a few drinks afterwards, went around Nottingham. So much fun. Great, like proper FM meetup. It was class. Really, really good. So, drop a follow on Football Manager Therapy, by the way, and keep your eyes peeled in case they decide to do another one. So, I believe it's being spoken about potentially for later on in the year. We'll see. Chill out, appreciate the follow. That's very kind of you as well. Thank you for that. 4 0. We'll take a 4 0 win, won't we? I'll do. I think you should have a look at Miles Lieburn. That's a name that rings a bell. Is he Carl Lieburn's son? He will be, he's a Charlton. 6'5. Oh, look at him. Look at him. Beautiful. Yes. He's he's definitely on the uh on the shortlist there then. Who's Jordan Dodd? Is Jordan Dodd real, by the way, or is it... Uh, he's not. He's not. Even hey, Sports Mad, how are you, pal? Hope you're well. What do you make of Ellis Sims going? What's happened there? I'm not... He can't be getting a game at Everton, surely. Oh, Tom Bloxham's on our list. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about it. Tom Bloxham is on our list. 
we uh, sadly at the moment he, uh, he doesn't want to sign but we might end up with him at some point during the save I love the fact as well you've already picked me out and gone yeah he's probably the sort of player that you might like uh, Joe Fitzpatrick is now performance analysis at Colwyn Bay which again here's a little interesting fact we tried to get the Colwyn Bay job before we got the Linfield job because we thought we were going to go to Wales so there you go not that one oh, okay a different one <laughs> Or a different Joe Fitzpatrick, maybe. Uh, is there another one? There doesn't seem to be another Joe Fitzpatrick. Unless I'm looking at a different guy. There's a Jordan Fitzpatrick. Lampard desperation. They're way too low, I imagine. Oh, right. oh okay, got you. Uh, Lampard desperation, he's not ready. He was developing nicely. He was annoyed he had to leave. Yeah, it feels very much Milner leaving Villa to go back to Newcastle. And like the whole, and crying in the car park. Like he's, he needs, a, yeah, he's not going to go straight into the, um, into the first team at, at Everton. The only thing I can think, Sports Mad, is that, is that maybe Calvert-Lewin is a bit more injured than they're letting on and they're gonna and they're gonna use him because like could be a could be a thing he's he he's quite tall he's like got a, a bit of a you know, similar style to dear to calvert lewin but you're right they've got no money they're definitely not gonna gonna be doing anything there and i think it's just i can see his his development being stifled a little bit to be honest going back um, why don't we play on custom databases so the way that we're doing this layman um, we we have previously I've used the, the FM editor has done the, the tier 10 databases which I thought was brilliant love them they came out after we'd started all of our saves obviously um, and just the way that the saves that I've wanted to do have always been sort of like actually we're going to do it this way you know, we, we don't need a custom database per se. Um, we've done stuff with Mad Scientist before. Um, at, at the minute, the saves that I want to do don't require a custom database. Um, you could maybe argue that that last year's Indonesian save would have helped with a bit more um, Asian influence in there. Would have been quite handy. Joel Cooper out for four, out for two months. That's not good. Um, but there are some good ones though there are some really really good databases but it's also as well the issue you've got is trying to get viewers okay so say for example I'm doing I don't know say like the Malaysian database right or I'm doing what like you know Highland League you know Highland League is is a thing but it's just gone out, just gone out on a free transfer. Like how many, you know, how many players, how many viewers are going to be looking for a, for a Highland League save? Some viewers will be, yeah, absolutely. But, but some, some viewers will probably be sitting going, I'm not watching, I'm not watching that. You know, like I'm not particularly asked about the Andorran League. I'm not particularly bothered about San Marino, you know? So it's striking that balance of, and I don't, and I, I certainly don't, play the uh the line of well we'll we'll just do we'll just do premier league because clearly i'm not doing that right now that's that's not how i play at all i don't i don't really enjoy watching the premier league in real life so i wouldn't want to do that as a streamer and stream the premier league so for me i'm not against it i just need the right save to go with it you know oh cup game cup game against Warren Point as well beat them in the opening uh, the opening game of the season that's why I love this channel boring for me to play with top clubs uh, yeah 100% and like I think the, the issue that we're going to have with this save though is that eventually we are going to have to play with, with, with the top clubs whether we want to or not Exem example A Linfield right now like we're playing as Linfield like I would have preferred to have 
got to the top of the Northern Irish Premiership with Banbridge, worked our way up and then got success that way, I would have felt so much better <clears throat> for me to do it that way and be like, oh God, I've, we've earned it. Yes, it's taken us 15 seasons, but we've earned it. And then panicking because we're going, oh shit, now we've got so much more <laughs> to do. <laughs> um, you know, this this is obviously a thing of like, we have to sometimes move around a little bit. Um, yeah, as, as Sportsman said, top clubs of me just don't mix. <laughs> we get sacked. Got sacked in the beer by Arsenal very, very quickly. Three streams, I think it was. That's, that's pretty quick, even for me. And uh, and now it's, we do not get sacked. We we leave because we think that the uh, expectations are unfair. He recently signed a young goalkeeper called Ed McGinty. More of a sweeper. We've just, funny you should mention that, we've just been, we were talking before uh, the Lelujo raid came in. And... Um, and someone had recommended a, a goalkeeper who was also a, a sweeper. That's what sweeper centre half essentially. Lost the enthusiasm. Yeah, we totally did. <laughs> I was trying to think of the the the, uh, the um the Andy Bernard quote from the office. We're like, um, you know, we don't, you know, we don't. Uh, we don't, uh, we don't lose tests. We, <clears throat> we, um, <coughs> we don't fail tests. We either, we either, uh, we either don't do them or we, or we quit them because they're unfair. And I was kind of trying to work out how it could crowbar that in. So I balls it up. Is essentially what I'm saying, and you've called me out on it, and I appreciate that. <laughs> Just put that up there. Zero days is our last nonsense. Muscling the ball through Scannell inside nicely powered, just doesn't quite control it though. Wilson, Nikerson, balls in. Kadamatu, the head off the post. I think this might be a 4 4 2 game this afternoon in the second half. 11 shots, three on target. What are we playing at? Near yeah, ourselves another goal. We got a goal. In fact, sorry. Right, where's our second striker? Duffy's not really doing much in this match. Palmer floats it up. Oh, at the back post. We're not dominant, but. Let's bring him off. Let's put Hughes on. Let's look across the board as well. Power's a little bit tired on the left uh, on the left back. And O'Brien as well, centre half. That's ball well headed by O'Brien. Ball through, Scannell's in. Straight the keeper. Slightly rude when the ball comes into the box like that, because you know there's going to be at least one player who's going to be silly and push, push a player over. Trying to slow the player down just a smidge, maybe. A bit more expressive, play a bit wider. Ben Wilson. Right. Can we play the ball out from the back, do you reckon? Yeah, of course we can. Of course we can. 
Doodle and yellow card on him already. Scan all power. Got power. In you go. Huge. <laughs> Started the move. Should have finished it. Let's put boys on in place of power, actually. Can't believe Hughes has already managed to get himself a yellow card. It's like, who are you tackling? Callum Martin's not really having a, great, having a great game either, mind. Nikerson. Looks for it. Hudlin on the header. So we bring O'Neill on? Maybe? Yeah, he's 6 5. We need to change him off. Ball gone. Come on, Scanner. Hudlin, Mikerson. Ball inside his foot. There's the, there's the soft penalty. There's the soft penalty that we need. O'Neill, he's been on the pitch a few seconds. He's the man that's been fouled. He's the man that's missed the penalty. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Don't want extra time already in a cup game. Mikasin Kinsella, oof. Not bad effort. Scannell's starting to uh, tire a little bit. Got a player coming through the youth 17 18, so our injuries, he's been off the bench. Scored three goals already. Nice. Gatlin Odonka, what a name, what a name. Do not just put the ball through here. Oof. I had visions of it like us conceding already on this one and being like, oh, there's another, there's another cup gone. <laughs> Keeps come for it. Mikasin again wins it back. Loses it though. Come on, boys. I'll do O'Brien. Wilson. Connolly. O'Neill. Hughes. Go! Oh, that's what we're talking about. Offside. No. It's marginal, isn't it? It's marginal. It's a great hit. I think what's proved is we're lacking a player in that uh, number 10 spot. Good ball through. Connie's chasing it. Doesn't quite put the pressure on though. Salah almost gives it away again. Why Hewland offside? This feels like a shit housing's coming on. <laughs> it, it doesn't it just? Doesn't it just? Doesn't it just? It feels like we've resorted to long ball. Connolly O'Neill. Yeah, this very much feels like we know how this game's going to go. Should we should we just leave this match right now? Like, try and like leave it to the assistant manager to finish? No! Oh, we get our own last-minute winner. Beautiful stuff. He's got, he's got four men on him. He's got four men on him, he still gets the header in. Outstanding work. Hewlett wins the header. Kinsella, Hewlett. 
out to Boys O'Neill. 32 chances, 16 on target. We, to be fair, we've missed too many chances as well. That's been our problem. Right. Do you know what I mean? Hewland brings it down. Does exactly what we need Hewland to do. Boys, here's Connolly. A bit of space to run into, isn't it? Back inside, boys, we've got too many men. Far too many options. That will do. <laughs> That'll do. 33 shots, 16 on target. We missed a penalty. Um, that's fine. That's fine. Nerves. Nerves at this point. I mean, at least we're in the next round of the cup. That's the main thing, right? Giovanni Van Bronckhorst is watching Owen O'Brien. I mean, you can understand why. Bambridge knocked out banger. God, Bambridge. This is one of the cups we need, yeah. We need this one. Draw for the third round's getting made. Linfield versus Ballina Mallard. Take that. Have us have a look at the draw. Glen Torren or Crusoe. Glen Torren have gone to a replay. Glen Avon is still in there. Lana still in there. Okay. Evening, Adam. How are you, buddy? Welcome in. Nice to see you. That is a pretty decent draw, isn't it? We could take that. Appreciate the follow as well. Thank you, Adam. Very kind. PFL Trust Trophy. This is another one we need as well. It's the second round. I don't know when we. I don't know when we we join the uh, that, but yeah, we'll get in there eventually. So, fixtures being moved for a uh, Champions League game. That's fine. Tire Glen Torren out. We made the really sensible decision of getting knocked out of Europe very quickly. So, not an issue for us. Shaden Morris was doing decent for Fleetwood and Aberdeen picked him up. There we go. Look, we've got Pardick Thistle in the third round. The third, fourth quarter, semis and final. I'll be handy to win before you even get to Scotland. Yeah, imagine if we do that, though. That would be pretty impressive, wouldn't it? Ticking off a trophy that we don't even have to... Scannel's out. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Just won the World Cup in Netherlands. It's took you four World Cups. Excellent. So what, what year are you in now, then? So that'll be what? So... Hang on, what's, what's the year now? So it's like 20, 2022 World Cup. So you, you're looking at 22, 26, uh, 30, 34, 20, That's pretty handy, mind. That's some dedication right there. A Rangers going, well, I hate, I, I don't, I don't really like going two Rangers, but have they got any players that might want to come to us, possibly? You like long saves? Good, good. You're, you're our kind of people. We like, like we like long saves as well. Tia Stansfield is not going to be one for us at 180 grand a week. Um, well, the B team. Anybody who's half decent who can play out wide? Craig O'Kane, 6 5. Alone at Colchester. I mean, come on. We should really be keeping our eyes on him. Mike Wise is a right sider. We need a left sider. 
Donald McDonald. Love this guy. Donald McDonald. Beautiful. Beautiful. McSweegan, the wing back. Tommy Lee McSweegan. Alan Reed. Luke McNally. Uh, Norwich. Yeah, he's not going to come here, is he? Gideon Tete He looks all right actually Stephen Best he's one of ours our old youngsters has just gone um Ian McKee. Keon Etete. Don't think we've come across this guy, have we? Keon Etete, a mother well. Nice. Nice. He he fits our he fits our brief. Josh Carson. He used to play for York, didn't he? He did. Then went to Linfield. Danny, a Brazilian lad from Bambridge. Ruri Keating. Good penalty taken, mind. Only been a sub. So you know what? You might be all right. You might be okay. Could be an option. Either that, we need to try and find another left side of this. That Evans guy that we've had a look at, he's quite handy. But he's going to cost us money. I wonder whether or not it's going to be too much money. No, reject that for now. Reject that. We're not paying 800 or 8 grand. Alfie Doherty didn't fancy it, did he? No, he's not bothered. Um. RJJ, would he fancy it now? I know it was all wages before, but let's try it. He's he's gonna struggle with the team now, right? Jaden Bennett's uh, it was Evans, wasn't it? Kieran Evans was the guy that we just had on loan there. He's still at the club. There he is, yeah. How much does he want? Two six. I mean, if you if you'll drop down to take that, then we've got our guy. Done, done. out play O'Neill out there guess we've not really got much other option have we everyone else is injured um, so that's that's going to sort that out um, I'll say sort it out it's going to be it's an answer to a problem Pretty much play the same team. Let's go 
before that. <coughs> we'll see what happens from there. Stick to the plan, we'll be fine. Did I say he feels pressured or feels the pressure's been lifted? Good. All right, Premier League match against Colrain. Three more points, please, everybody. That's what we like. Just makes the league a lot easier if we just win all of our games, right? Let's get into it. Intensive players we particularly want or need. Um, at the minute, not really. I think we were desperate for strikers in the, at the start of the of the window. Um, I think we've now got strikers. Have we got the right strikers? I don't know. Um, could we get a striker in who's going to cost us nothing on loan? That would be good. I'd take that. Obviously, we've got Calamari on loan at the minute. Um, I even think we've probably got enough to see us through to January. Oh, Mikkelsen. But then also it's like a little bit of how big do I make this squad now in the event of injuries or suspensions or what have you. You know? I don't think we've sort of weakened teams in our in our division as much as we thought we were going to. Although the fact that Glenavon have sold their top striker is really, really handy. Nice block. Get the ball away. Colerain has set up a little bit more to get out of us than I was expecting to be honest. Uh oh Let's work the ball back in again. Let's do do things like we used to do. Yeah, if Cooper didn't get injured and then Scannell didn't get injured, all of a sudden we've got a left side problem now. If we didn't have a week before, then I'd have a ten men. Oh, this free kick's just going over the top. We might be all right. We just don't know. Good save, but this is going to be, this is going to be another one. I was like, we're going to pepper the goal, and then we're just going to wait for anything to happen. Oh, oh I'm close. Let's put Duffy up there straight away now, and make him as a poacher. Or pressing forward, actually. No, he's already pressing forward. Yeah. Poacher for now. Irish League's got some serious talent. I think so, yeah. I think so, you're right. I've never managed an island before, but I, I really have enjoyed it. I found it, I found it different, but familiar, if that makes sense. Like, you can tell you're managing somewhere different. Um... But like we did Indonesia last year and that was very different and very unfamiliar. So Okay, so they're still getting chances which is not what we want. What have they got? So they won if we go wide in that sense then because they haven't got any width at all. So we look to get down the uh, down the channels. Could put some pressure on them, I presume. Nice ball through Mikasern. Inside for Duffy makes it 1-0. That's what we wanted. Exploit that that gap. They're playing very narrow. Let's go wide. Put the ball down the wings. Nice ball at the top from Kinsella. Mikasen gets his head up. Duffy's already in the box. 
Swats it in 1-0. Mikkelsen gets the ball back. He's been a good free signing by Mikkelsen. From the Dundee United midfielder. Adam Hartley should have finished that one off. Potentially swap Calamari out for Hewland. He's not a bit of time, is he? Kinsella, ball out wide. O'Neill. Heads up. Calamari, there we go. He turned into it. Target man. Now he's got himself a ball. And Brian's a force at that front post. He's he's great, isn't he? He's great. <coughs> right, and we've got Hugo on the bench, so he's not even the he's not even the, the guy that we're aiming at. Like, there's other options. That's the thing that like, we've taken these like what you would imagine is the first option and just thought, right, here's a here's something different. You know? Ball, Mikkelsen at the back post. What about that? 3 0 now. This is what we're talking about. Brilliant ball, that, isn't it? The idea of moving him out on his own up to, to the right. Like, Do you want to play out there? Like, you any good? Like, no, nah, mate. No thanks, Gaffer. It's not going to help. Kind of artery. Back for Mikkelsen. Ball somehow finds way to Duffy. Power has a goal. Power's on the other card as well. But Brian's knackered, so let's bring him off for want. Yes, Zim's Muller, my guy indeed. How are you, buddy? Happy Christmas, Happy New Year. Hope you're well. How's life been treating you? All good, I'm expecting. What's happening in your world? How's your streams going? Of course you're great, of course you're great. I'm very well, I'm very well, thank you. Just chilling, man, just chilling. Taking a, started to, started to win some games now, so I feel a little bit odd, <laughs> you know? It's one of those things, right? But, uh, we've got Cal Hewland in Northern Ireland, so everything's gonna be fine, it's gonna be totally fine, you know? How many trophies? We're still on three. Well, I say we're still on three. I think the last time you saw was one and two. So three now. We uh, we, we fell upwards. Right? We've had a cracking couple of streams. So we were at Porter Down. I think it was probably the last time you saw us. Maybe you saw us at Dungannon. I'm not sure. But Porter Down, we took an absolute beating in the uh, semi-finals of the, of the Mid Ulster Cup. We lost 4-1 or 5-1, I think it was, to Dungannon. And, um, and off the back of that result, Dungannon appointed us as their new manager. They were bottom of the, of the Northern Irish Premiership. No league wins, but we kind of had to go for the job because it was an opportunity to go and win a cup. So we went there straight away. Uh, won the cup, won the uh, won the, uh, the Mid Ulster Cup, great. Struggled in the league, so much so that I was like, I don't think we're gonna stay up here. And we got hammered 5-0 off Linfield. You'll spot a pattern here. Um, and I was like, right, we need to leave. Let's just sack it off, right? We've came here, we've won a cup. Um, so we left Bam, we left Dungannon, and then we just sort of like waited until the end of the season for a new job to come up. Dungannon survived, 
they managed to whoever they put in charge got themselves out of it right and then all of a sudden all of a sudden we uh the palace top of the premiership is it let's have a look here so then all of a sudden right here here's what we're doing palace are top five games in there you go smashing it so they've, and they've lost a the game as well um so there we are right so we're doing our thing looking around for a new job linfield who finished second in the league say do you want to come and manage us and we were like yeah yeah we do that sounds a great idea actually <laughs> because it's like why would we not uh we were gonna go and manage dulwich hamlets they offered yeah yeah they beat us five nil um so Oldham are still in the Vanarama National. They are, that's where Oldham are. Um, and yeah, they just went, do you want the job? And we were like, yeah, sounds a good idea. Why? <laughs> Let's do that. So here's where we are. So we've turned up, we're expected to like win the league essentially, um, which is great because there's, there's like, we have to win the league. Um, oh, he didn't leave. <coughs> I thought he was going. I thought he was going to leave. <sighs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I mean, yeah, great business. Absolutely brilliant. Because like, we've got to do that, hasn't it? You've got to, you got to sort of fall upwards in this sort of save. Um, we can't afford Ricky J. Jones, no matter how much we try. It's just not happening. Um, and yeah, so so we're really happy. Really, really happy, Sims, to be honest. it's uh, It's worked out pretty decent for us, you know? And then we've, we've started, so this, this season we've got Kyle Hudlin up top, brought him in on a free transfer. We've got Bailey Kadamari in on loan as well. Um, we've bought Philip Warry, who's come in from Middlesbrough, who looks pretty handy, to be honest. Um, Hudlin we're using sparingly at the minute. He's only kind of like come on as a as a sub, but we'll be, we'll be, we'll be using him a lot. We use him a lot normally, so... In he comes, the big lad. And uh, check out this lad, by the way. He's coming through the youth system. He looks a prospect. 19 years old. This boy is good. Um, but we're gonna, we're probably going to end up losing him, sadly, because he's, uh, well, he's he's wanted by Rangers, and he's he's better than this league, to be honest. You know what I mean? You can't, you can't sort of like... You can't stop the boy. You know, if someone comes in for him, great. Like, but if they don't... Even better, <laughs> even better. Yeah, so we'll get there. We'll get there. Hopefully, this will be. This should theoretically be the last season of Northern Ireland. I I hope. Um, despite the fact that I'm really enjoying managing Northern Ireland, so the centre backs are pretty good. So he's so Steen Powers playing at um, at left back at the minute. So he could play centre back, but. I figure the fact that he wants to get four wherever possible is a little bit worrying. So we're playing um, O'Brien. We're playing Wary, who's the guy who's oh, who's on loan. But there's also this lad here who is um, Sean Wand. So he can play centre-back. So he's fine, does a job. Um, and we've brought this lad in from Wales, who again can play left-back, can play centre-back pretty decent again so I think defensively we're set up fairly handy um, and we've got Callum Wilson who starts the game at Sunderland you know, like, so yeah I'm all right for I'm all right for defenders I think and then we brought in this lad from Arsenal Herbert Hubert uh, Grajic so he's coming in in goal on a free transfer so I think we're fairly all right. Callum's great. Callum's really good. Like, he's good at Sunderland. Um, so I don't understand how we've managed to get him all the way down here. Um, so, yeah, very happy with that. Very happy. Obviously, still got players who are out on long-term injuries as well, which is not, not helpful. Oh, yeah, good shout. More water, actually, Lewis. Good shout, indeed. Try and keep 
keep these vocal cords warmed up, right? Who's your Who's your team at the minute, Zims? Are you still at United or have you moved off? Never be too hydrated. Of course, Birmingham. Birmingham, yes. Yes. How's that how's that save going on? Are you are you crushing it? I would expect you will be. Season five in the Premier League. You're in the headache stage. <laughs> I don't think you'll be at the headache stage too much, too much longer. You'll get one player who'll come through, who'll be an absolute baller, and that'll just everything will click, and you'll be like, "Yeah, here we go, we're good." Um, Josh Carson's just a bit old, I think. Michael McCrudden's even older. Is there going to be a striker who's available for loan that? could work out quite handy forms in the gutter finance is not great at this point yeah we're struggling a little bit for money but let's see what we get Stansfield's not going to come because he, he needs too much so um, Liam Jessup not really sure he's the right guy. He's five foot nine. He'd be the absolute small man for uh, for Hewlett, of course. Um, do I try and bring on a central midfielder in, possibly? Do I mind being a TikTok video? I've never been asked to be in a TikTok video before, Zims. But if you think it's a thing I can do, then we can make that happen. I don't know how we're going to sort it or what it is you want me to do, but yeah. Hit me up and we'll try and work it out. I think the question is, is the do do does TikTok want me on a video? Is the next question. <laughs> Say hello to TikTok. Who's your favourite Wonder Kid from FN23? You know what? We've not played with any Wonder Kids. This is probably my best Wonder Kid, is the guy that we've just seen here. On um on on in Linfield, this lad here. Owen O'Brien, but for me, the best, the best wonder kid, even in Pokes, by the way, welcome in, appreciate the raid. Uh, best wonder kid I've seen, right? And I saw him on FM 22, and he's probably, you probably can't see him on this screen here, but there's a guy called Rister, uh, Anders Rister, who plays for, um, for Odd Ball Club in Norway. He's the best guy. He's the best wonder kid, right? He's the best wonder kid. Absolute goal scoring sensation. Even post by the way, appreciate the raid. Hope you are well. Welcome in. What's happening in your world, brother? Yeah, don't worry at all, man. <laughs> let me let me know. Let me know how that looks on TikTok, by the way, because I've got a feeling it's gonna be like, oh god. Old man shouts at internet. <laughs> JM Thoughts is in as well. Hello, JM Thoughts. Pleasure seeing everybody here. Look at the, the whole gang's here. The whole gang's here. You know, got me, my music's just a bit chill tonight as well. We're just, you know, getting those final little bits of a uh, striker suggestion. Matthew Hope. I mean, it's the hope that kills you, right? St. Louis City, six foot three. American. Is he likely to come? He's not going to come on loan, I'm afraid. Creating a club, Tottenham Athletic, breakaway fan owned club from Spurs. Looking forward to a new save. Nice. Nice. How do you spell his last name? Oh, yeah, so it's uh, it's Anders Rister is the uh, is his name. Actually, he's got, a, he's got a middle name as well. Hart, Harvite. That's the, yeah, this is what he is. He's a... Uh, he was in the game last year. He was 15, right? He was 15 last year, and he was just incredible. 
evening, Michaelin. You're welcome in, sir, as well. Hope you're also very, very well. Bring my Potter down. I know, Lynx. I know, but the thing is, we've 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 kind of jumped up. I'm afraid. I mean, I don't. No, it was it was all a bit tricky, right? You know, it's all a bit tricky, but you know, we have to come here to try and win some trophies now. Kieran Evans is in. Excellent. Still in the game. Oh, yeah, yeah, he'll still be in the game. He's an incredible player. Just just, just the fact that we've not uh, loaded up those... Uh, we've, we've not loaded the Norwegian database in, unfortunately. I would have said the other one, but I can't remember what they were called. <laughs> up the Banbridge. Up the Banbridge. I've got a bit of an itch, I'm afraid. So, uh, Kian Vassen. Is that a player for us or for... Um, or for Zim's? That doesn't look like there's anyone there at the minute. Let's say Banfield. <laughs> we almost went to Banfield last year, to be honest. But um, yeah, Banfield's one of the old. Um, I think that aren't they an old? Um, Bielsa Club. I can't find Baston, unfortunately. Ferris is 10 professional. Stansfield's gone to St Mirren. On left side, Doherty as well. Hey, St Mirren have done well in the uh, in the transfer window there. They obviously know that we're coming at some point. Still going, still going, still going. Like, leave the lurks. That's what it's all about. We, we're still going to be here. We're going to be here for a little while longer, to be honest. How's Gatlin or Donka getting on? We'll have a little look. We'll take we'll take a little peek. Take out Michael Forbes. Put him in there. Right, Wari, we need him. Um Carl Kinsella should. Oh right, he's an under 21, so he doesn't need registered anyway. That's fine. Stephen Douglas will need registering because he's uh, on loan. Kieran Evans needs to be in as well, doesn't he? Uh, Kyle Curran's probably young enough to not have to be registered. Hey, right, Wilson, emergency backup. Right, take the backup out, put Kieran Evans in. Everyone's happy. What's Paul Neal doing? Under 21. Doesn't have to be registered. Excellent. Cool. Troy Parrot. Troy Parrot's never come in here. Troy Parrot's one of like the old school like banger strikers, isn't he? Yeah, Gatlin the Donker can't find him at the minute. I'm afraid. Oh, there he is. There he is. Um, you can shortlist him. He's not got many goals. 14 to 76. He's available on loan though. So that's an interesting one. But yeah, Troy Parrot's coming nowhere near us. I don't think. How are we looking? I think we're doing... It's a Peebra. Yay. Um, I think we're doing all right, to be honest. I think we're, we're getting there. We're, we're currently top of the table, so that's that's handy, right? Results-wise, looks fine, you know? Um, three wins of the league, one in the cup. We're about to play our County Antrim Shield first round, so we could do with a win there as well. Just uh, need to... Fringe player, leading leading player, is he? Oh, hang on. Right, we'll cash in on them because we've got to try and move him out if we can't have him in there. Uh, Mark Sykes might be too good. Possibly. Tommy Conway. We'll have a little look, shall we? No trifle night, still no no volivants. Nothing, nothing, mate. We're not doing anything in the minute, Lynx. It's uh, all keep an eye on the waistline, right? Got the uh, got the barbells out this morning, so 
Gotta try and get all that through. Let's just boost these through. Bright and try to get this guy in. I'm trying to go for Owen O'Brien. Said once they bring once they bring the money, you can go. But until then, Callum Hartley five goals in three games in the league. Owen O'Brien, goal of the month, manager of the month for us. Yes, clean sweep, absolute clean sweep. All right. no, 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 no. Let's let's only put. 600 grand oh they went with the non-negotiable 450 grand oh dear <laughs> that's fine though it's still under it's still under so we're just not we're just not selling him he's not he's not uh, you know he's not he's not hit the uh, hit the agreed price yet so if they come back, then yes, we'll ask for a loan back on him, being like, any chance he can stay for a bit? Because, yeah, we're going to need to keep him, right? Doesn't look like they're kicking off about it. Is Ben AC in your game? I think he was, actually. I think we looked at I think his name's cropped up before. I recognise the name, unless it was from last year, possibly. Ben AC. Free agent. Bristol Dorkin. Yeah, reasonable maybe. Very good in the lower leagues. What's it like in uh what's it like in the Northern Irish Premiership? That's what we need. Tommy Conway. Huddersfield. Nine, nine and a half grand. He's not. He's not coming anywhere near us, is he? All right. I think we're set. I think this is probably as good as we're going to get going into the uh, the rest of the season. I love that. It's a C plus. They're just like, oh, you know, they're, they're fine. Like we're fine with what you've got, to be honest. The fact that we've, you know, we've won all of our matches. Um, granted, there was one, there was one slight hiccup in Europe, but still, they need high expectations. They they expect to win the title, so it will be. It's going to be that thing in it. You know, just just because you're winning all your games doesn't necessarily mean that we're happy. Like, you know, anyone can just win all their matches. That's, you know, easy enough to do, right? Not for me, not for me. French player, apparently, for Ben Acey. Field Swifts have won in the uh, in one of their cups. Brian Pendleton. The thing is, we've got we've we've got a, a right back. Really, we've got a, a Byron Pendleton. A loan from Birmingham. Nice. Yeah. <coughs> right, windows closed, transfer windows closed, we're okay for now. Carl Winchester. <laughs> really? Again, former son, isn't it? Carlos Martin, nothing there. Nothing there, I'm afraid. Do you reckon he still is around? 
assistant manager. There we go. Could have been a thing. We could have actually, if we'd have known, we could have maybe brought him back in. He could have been the, uh, the assistant manager. There you go. Is that England losing? No, they won. Tired at 34, he got the kahunas to be your assistant manager. Yeah, he's, like, he's just bailed out already and he's just like, ah, I'm out of here. I'm out of here, lads. Unless he's, he's seen that and just went, I wonder if I can ever get a work with James and that would be handy, wouldn't it? I'd like that. Dara Costello from Burnley. Currently Sheffield Wednesday, 24. So he's not he's not too young anymore. He's getting on a bit. He's coming into his prime right now. We've got uh got Carrick in the cup. Then Ballymi uh Bally Ballymina? Yeah, Ballymina next. In the league. Hayden Morris. As I say, though, the uh, the window's closed for now. Let's take on the shortlist. We needed uh, we needed some right wingers earlier on, actually. Harder. I don't think we're going to put tackle harder on actually because it never works. Um, what are we looking at? Cooper's still injured, but it's fine though because Kieran Evans is, is in now, so he can come in. Stephen Douglas can be on the bench. Just working well in it. Kinsella and uh, Palmer, they're getting some great numbers. All right, let's go. Let's see if. All right, here we go then. Up against Carrot, then. Let's have it. Cup match. Need to win this one. It's a 4 4 2. They've won three of the last five as well. They're in orange, we're in blue, by the way, if you're brand new to the stream. Come on then, boys, let's get ourselves an early goal. Assert ourselves on the match, and then from there, just do our thing. Duffy chases through. Wilson. Kinsella. This is a cup game, yeah, Lewis. County Antrim Shield. We've never we've never never played in this before, so it's a trophy we need to win. So very, very excited about it. We'll have to see what we can do. Oh, we'll cut that one out. Wilson Palmer. Duffy Mikasen gets in Duffy's way, or vice versa. Wilson Mikasen, Duffy. Yes. Lovely, beautiful goal. What a season for us, Darlow, by the way. Big Scarborough 5 2 today. That's a hell of a result. Up the Darlow, wrong. Same can't be said for Blythe. Yeah, Spawns are struggling. Spawns are really struggling. Uh, they have been for a couple of years, to be honest. Now. 
Obviously, Gateshead and York drew 2 2, I believe, today as well. So, but I think it's, you know. I like Doll. I like to see Doll do well, to be honest. My, um, I used to gig there quite a lot. My, uh, my, one of my old, my old agent was from Darlow, so it's pretty handy. We'd always go down and sort of see him and um, hang out there and sort of. We did some, uh, did some, some local radio as well back in the day at Darlow. So I did a, a gig at not feet or well, not feet, but like the the new ground uh, after the uh, Reynolds Arena incident. So yeah, myself and my mate, we both did uh, this shows about football as so well. Football manager is a bit a show about uh, the FA Cup. So we both went there and we both sort of did it as a bit of a fundraiser for the club, which was cool. Callum Archery, 2 0. AFL could be offering a third promotion spot for the National League. That would be good, wouldn't it? I, you know, I think that makes sense, sports man. Like, they should do now. Like, because of the fact that like, the lower leagues and the non-league clubs have really been uh, been hit by COVID, I think the least they could do is open up another another spot to get them up into the into the football league. Do you know what I mean? And try and like sort of get some money. But as you put there, as Lewis has just put there, you need League Two to agree to it. Who's gonna Who's gonna agree to another potential club being relegated? It's not gonna happen. Either. Everyone. It's like turkeys voting for Christmas. Everyone looks after themselves. Evans with an effort there. Well, I've lost back to back to Spenny. Oh. You know, and Spenny more have come from nowhere as well. Like, they've been languishing for years. And then all of a sudden, Spenny more turn up. And not just like Spenny more have just turned up to make the numbers up. Done pretty well. <laughs> they've sort of like played some decent football they've got some half decent players like giving teams a game like they're pretty respectable outfit and I think they're probably not as surprised as everyone else is I think they're sort of like expected to be okay I think they've maybe just shocked a few people to be honest uh, Dave Goodyear yeah. way to work tomorrow good luck with the stream no worries Goodyear yeah. always a pleasure having you in man we'll uh Drop you in the shower there, by the way. Don't go and follow Dave Goodyear, by the way, if you don't already do so. Um, top quality man. Never mind, just a streamer. A man. We like very much. One of our friends. Um, Duffy there. Should have made it 3-0. Um, yeah, and I'll catch you soon, Mr. Goodyear. We'll see you all very, 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 very shortly. <clears throat> Get them back down. <laughs> don't stand them. That's the problem, isn't it? That's the problem. Lewis has just dropped us a follow on Twitter. Nice, Lewis. Appreciate that. <coughs> oh, yeah, you can find me all over the place. Here, Twitter, Discord. If, if anyone's uh, signed up to the Discord yet, come and join yourselves in there. I'd rather see Blythe have success than Spenny. I mean, that's, that's saying a lot, isn't it? The thing is, though, Blythe, I've, you know, for me, Blythe, I've got a lot of, a lot of uh, connection with. As I'm sure you're all acutely aware. Ball up to no one, apparently. Interesting move. Can sell it. Duffy finds Mikkelsen. Mikkelsen inside Kinsella. Says the address is invalid, can't join the Discord. Really? I'm sure it's worked on mine. Try it again. Oh. Are you trying to try? Are you trying to join it from here or from uh, from Twitter? Anyone else having a problem joining it? Nikas is through. Lovely finish. 
from here. I should tell you straight now. Um, let me send you it as a as a thing. Let me see what I can get you. I'm willing for it. Send you as a whisper, see if that works. Oof. Should have been four. Should have been. This is what we need, isn't it? Good, good result in the cup. He's giving the ball away, no, that's not. That's not what we expect from Linfield, come on. Didn't work. How bizarre. We tried refreshing. Yeah, really, yeah, we downloaded the Discord. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, unless Discord's down, is it? Then again, it doesn't look down. Look down. I've got it up on my, my computer now, so. It should, it should work, but. If it's not having any of it, then I'm not sure what to suggest. Three 0 win. We'll take that. Middle two thousand and ten, stuck in a place secluded deep in my mind. I'm looking out through the lens. Who's in a rush to become Don't say it too loudly, but I don't think our goalkeepers got much to do the last few last few matches. That's yeah, that's what I thought, Lynx. Yeah, it's done the same for me as well, but it could be because I've got Discord app open, maybe. Uh, if anyone else is new, is trying to join the Discord, if you can let us know if that's uh, that's worked for you guys, that would really be helpful. I have to redo the link. Evans' best position, left midfield. See if I need to update the thing. Mm, that should be fine. Links just work for you, Lobes. Okay. Playing Cliftonville in the County Antrim Shield quarterfinals. See the rest of the draw. Crusaders, Dundella, Larn, Don Donny Goal, Glenn Torrent, and Balamina. And it's only Glenn Torrent we should fear in there, and I don't even think we should fear Glenn Torrent. Right, Balamina currently sat tenth, just above our old, our old club Dungannon. Then we've got Banger next. And yeah, then Partnick Thistle. Is that back to back? Oh, two months for Cami Palmer. That's that's going to be a bit of a blow, isn't it? Good job we brought Douglas in. Although he's not a DLP, so I'm sure the uh, his club are going to start complaining. Being like, why are you not playing as a DL, as a box to box midfielder? Is that because our system doesn't quite work like that? All these opportunities were just across the bridge. The world was more than twice the size of now. I was a kid. I traded in the comfort zone for life from under edge. I was gaining all my dreams. It didn't work the whole time. It was just a plot to get us to join. <laughs> Possibly, loves. Possibly. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, it, it should it should be. You know, it's been working. If uh, if Lewis is having having a struggle, then it's always handy to find out if it does work for other people. But um, but you know, I can assure you that it's not a ploy. It's not a ploy. It's not a plot. 
Um, I hadn't thought of that. Now that I have thought about it, hey, can everyone else just check this link, see if it works? <laughs> TJ got them special attack this game on the Discord via trifle. Exactly, exactly. You know? Sometimes if it's presented in front of me to be like, Tony, you might want to say this. Go, yeah, maybe we will do that, actually. That's a really good idea, yeah. Five, five, five wins. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> this is going to end badly, isn't it? Two points clear of Glenavon, level with Cliftonville. Well, I see here, special command go to a local supermarket and share trifles in stock. <laughs> we should do it. Yeah. Yeah. Order a dessert. Should be like a channel point redemption, shouldn't it? Like, you know, you get, I don't know, 20,000 channel points and you can pick what dessert we eat on stream. I totally would like you to be a tiramisu tonight. All right, fair enough. 20,000 channel points, a cheese board. 20,000 channel points gets you baklavar. Only ball for Mikkelsen. Just through, head up, head up. Adam Archery. Evans whips the corner in. Out of the way. Turn it back in. Kinsella. Power. Douglas. Kinsella has a goal. Says I need a link like. So, uh, yeah, you have to whisper that to me, Lewis, because we, we can't do links on, on the uh, on the stream, I'm afraid. If you send me send me that link as a whisper, then I'll be able to, to have a little look at it. Great ball, Mikasen. Should have finished it. Callum Archery has done. Is there like an expiry on it or something? Because sometimes you can have an expiry on the link. Um, it has to be used in seven days, but it should be set up as like a... A, an infinite link. Hence, that's why we use it as a command here. It's going to be really annoying with not having a link that I have to, have to remind myself to change every seven days. We all know I wouldn't do that. Oh, now there's a question. If it's mobile, I don't know whether it takes you straight to there or not. Mikasen should have finished that, shouldn't he? That's got to be 2 0. 2 0 written all over it. Nickerson goes through, gives it away. Wilson, free kick. <clears throat> Evans with a free kick now. Williamson tips it over the bar. This has been a dominant first half performance, but again, that doesn't necessarily mean anything, does it? Yeah, so like, so where you've got the GG, you then have to put that next bit. So the VS, that's that's the whole thing. If, to be fair, it, it, yeah, it should, it should work. It should work. If you click the thing that I've sent you above, that should theoretically take you to the uh, to the Discord. Should. If it doesn't, then I'm confused. Uh, might look to rest some players in the second half, actually. O'Brien's on a 7-1, but he's tiring. Warry's on a 6-7, but he's not. So I'm like, sorry, do I take the player who's playing well off and tiring? Do I take the player who's not playing well off? I guess if we get more than one goal head start, we can take the better play off. Oh, that's a beautiful ball. Oh, oh Evans should have finished that. I mean, we're playing some football now, right? Players putting their heads in. Now you're in. Welcome in, Lewis. I appreciate you. You're getting it, but it's not for me, really, is it? Good ball straight at Williamson. Okay, 
O'Brien brings it down. Wilson. That's what I like a bit of passing around. O'Brien with some show button. Lovely ball. Mikasin to Wilson. Mikasin heads up. Come on, get your head up. Don't just go smashing that one straight in to the side man. Um, this is the sort of match now where we're beginning to wonder should we have scored a second by now and it's something YouTube as well excellent Lewis you've had a right day appreciate you Wary Evans it reminds me of YouTube I need to try and get these uh, end of season review videos done to get them loaded as well there's a foul on the halfway line great tackle oof all the top there. let's get Wary up for boys um, in fact let's maybe bring Duffy off uh, Scanner Mikasin Calamartry gets his second I was about to bring Calamartry off the friendly goals no trifle I'm glad I missed the stream <laughs> how's things going million dollar man Ted Diossi for you for you friendly ghost look at these Got these in for you. Brand new ones. Everyone's got a price. Um, stream's going well, thank you, though, buddy. Despite the lack of trifle, um, we're scoring goals left, right, and centre. And um, don't say it too loudly, but we haven't lost a game yet. Or even drawn a game. Apart from that ridiculous night in, in Romania. So everything else is, uh, is doing decent. And we signed, oh yeah, and we signed Cal Hewlett. So, can't really complain, right? Things are going perfect. We've got Bailey Calamari up front as well. He's got two goals right now. He's scored five goals in three games, start of the season. That's a good move. Oh, appreciate that, Lewis. Thank you very much. And sell a good block. Right, don't go, don't go giving anything away now. Right, Hang on. that'll do. Well blocked. Bad guy, yeah. I feel like Razor Ramon now. <laughs> you know, we turn up, we just do what we do, what we like, try and take players off, off teams, be like, right, give us who you got, give us your money. Um, they're not giving us their players, sadly. We haven't been able to bully teams that way, which is what I was hoping for, but. Decent save. I'm going to bring. I'll bring Calamari off. I thought, I thought I'd rest him. Get Hughes on, but nope, not yet. Uh, we've been drawing as Pike Thistle in the uh, SPFL trophy as well. Friendly ghost, so that's to look forward to. Calamari nearly gets his hat trick. shots 10 on target 2.56 xg We're having a great time tonight uh what team do i support so it's a bit of an interesting one lewis um i would probably say at the minute i'm saying sunderland right I'm, i used to be an aston villa fan and then we had the uh the gerard incident and um, so i'm not fully back so i don't really like the premier league to be honest i find it quite boring um i think emery is a good manager it was a great appointment, but then all of it, but then everyone was sort of like, and this is like football Twitter, in it, like 
good evening. And I say, oh, fuck off, man. Fuck off. Like, you know, like, he's Spanish, right? <laughs> Stop. Like, you don't just, no, nah, I'm not having it, right? Okay, fine. He can't say evening. Piss off. That's not a thing, right? Um, so, yeah, that just annoyed me. <laughs> What's Villa's nickname? The Villains, which is exactly what we are right now. Um, but, yeah, my, my local team when I was growing up, born in Sunderland so obviously Sunderland's my, my team essentially Forza Vendetta welcome in appreciate the follow very kind nice to have you in the stream fact not you're not followed you've said hello I presume you're gonna follow you know just by that so um Ahmad is amazing he's an amazing player he is just settled in so well super skillful like just does things with a football that I don't think anyone else around him knows what he's gonna do like and from what I've heard from some Sunderland fans, they're saying that like, he's one of the best players that they've, that they've seen physically at the club. So, yeah, he's a he's a talent. He's a talent. John Conkle, my mate, is a Sunderland fan. He's also on Twitch. Nice. How are we doing? What do we think of Brentford? Love Brentford. They've just smashed Liverpool today. Fantastic. You know, I might recall him. I, I can't see it. I think that they'll give they'll let Gar Garancho play instead. I know they play the other side, but um, I don't think they'll they'll recall him. They, they need Sancho to work, so I can't see them pulling uh, Diallo back. To be honest, uh, Trent Tiger, appreciate the follow. Very kind for that. Pick two things for my team. A formation is first. All right, four three three or four two three one. Okay. We need, some, we need some context here, Trent. Who are you managing? That's the first thing. Right. What's the expectations? How do you want to play football? Ten Hag is hinting at it. Sancho's back in training, which is good. Lost again, beer pong. Had to wear a Newcastle shirt for the whole stream. Ugh. Oh, God. Never want to do that. Trent Tiger FC. Right, okay. Already I'm confused. I've never heard of Trent Tiger FC. Uh, so, so okay, so what sort of football do you want to play? What's your uh, what, what, what's your philosophy for your, for your obviously made-up club? I've only signed defenders and a goalie. Well, then, I mean, 4-3-3 or 4 2 3 one's not going to make a difference, then, is it? If you only got defenders. Play, I'd play a 1-10-0-0. One, a one, one, ten, zero, zero. That's what I'd play. Might want to get some. Might want to get some outfield players. You sign a midfielder, yeah, yeah, definitely sign a midfielder. Um, get get a striker as well. Definitely try with them. Mm. Pick your favourite team from every English league, including the National League. Okay. Um, so Premier League, I guess I'll still stick with Villa then. I guess I can't have to do that. Uh, Championship, Sunderland. League One. That's Peterborough, isn't it, really? You know, it's got to be Peterborough. Um, League Two. Let's have a look at League Two. Who's in League Two? EFL table. Um, do, 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 do. AFC Wimbledon. I quite like. I quite like AFC Wimbledon. So they can be my League Two side. Um, National League. Now, here's a tricky one, isn't it? Because I should probably say... Uh, I should probably say York. So I'll say York, because obviously, you know... And then when we get into the next division down, then it becomes more tricky, because once you get to the National League North, then I've got, like... as We've got Darlington, we've got Blythe Spartans... Um, I should probably say Blythe Spartans. Um, they're not doing very well. And then in the uh, National League South, let's have a look. Um, we'll go with Dulwich Hamlets. Yeah, we'll do that. That was fairly easy, wasn't it? Yeah, I think we did well there. Favourite in the Irish League. Uh, but yeah, but Forest Green are definitely morally good. 100%. How about Spain, Italy and Germany? Oh, I, I don't care enough. <laughs> um, Italy, my favourite team in Italy, Sampdoria. Germany. I don't 
don't know. Um, probably Sao Paulo, I'd imagine. Forza Vendetta, appreciate the follow. That's very kind. Thank you. Trent play 442, Mike Bassett, Hoofball. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Jung Uncle, favourite in the Irish League, Bambridge. Um, right. Remember when we beat York in the 2010 3 on the playoff final to get back in the Football League? There you go. See? Play 442. Get your 442s done. It's the best way to do it. Least favourite team in every league. Right. Newcastle. In the Premier League. Championship. Um, Although Newcastle, Newcastle and Liverpool are sort of like, they're very close, first and second, but Newcastle I'd say for the Premier League. Uh, least favourite side in the Championship. Um, I've not got much beef with teams in the Championship to be honest. Millwall probably because the you know the whole racist things, um, Millwall fans thing. Uh, league One, least favourite team in League One. I would say are uh, MK Dons because they're not real. Least favourite team in League Two would be none of these teams really offend me <laughs> in League Two to be honest. I almost feel like League Two is the team, where, the, the the division where I'm like, actually, you know what? Salford City, maybe. Swindon, Swindon lot don't seem to respect us. Yeah, Swindon. For no reason other than Swindon lot don't seem to respect us. Why is it a surprise about Newcastle? Yeah, it shouldn't. It's not a surprise. It's like it's they, uh, you know, they should be straight away being the no. No, 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 we're not going to. Yeah, we're not going to be, we're not going to be fair fans of them, are we? Uh, what did Liverpool ever do? I mean, it's there. It's, it's, it's them really, isn't it? It's, it's, it's the fans more than anything. Um, National League? National League? Let's have a look at National League. Least favourite team in the National League. Is probably going to be um, again. I'm struggling to find a team that I really dislike. I think I think the team that that people would probably want to say would be Wrexham because of the fact they've got all the money, but. I don't mind it. Like I don't, I don't mind them and what they're doing. But the money, of course, is is a thing. Um, yeah, I've not really got a massive beef with anybody in the national league, to be honest. And I guess the same with with, with the non leagues. Like it's, I like the fact that it's just teams going about their business, doing their things. You know? Yeah, Lord, I can't, the fans are barrel can't stand them most of the time. Yeah, exactly. They are the thing. Yeah, but the thing is, Links, I can't say Birmingham because the thing is, I'm, I'm not from there, so I don't actually have, and I've, I've said this before uh, a few times, actually, like to, to people in the past, like, I don't have the, the Birmingham Villa rivalry. Like, I don't, I've never lived it. I've got no connection to the to the city. So for me, the whole Birmingham Villa thing, is just, it's not, a, it's not, a, I, I don't really see an issue. Um, I don't hate Birmingham the way that some Villa fans hate Birmingham. But I've lived through Newcastle Sunderland derbies. Like I've lived through that. I'm from there. I, I get it. I understand the rivalry properly. So I do definitely have a, a connection to their to that. So for me there's there's definitely a northeast rivalry. It's a great ball, and the offside I think. Power. Nice finish. Duffy makes it 1-0. 
Nation after tomorrow has made me hate both Ebsley and Bournemouth with a passion. <laughs> Notts County fans are knobs, really? I only met a few Notts County fans, they were alright. The thing is, like, every club's got, like, knobhead fans, haven't they? Every club's got knobhead fans, every club's got nice fans. Kind of playing a friendly against the Cheddar FC Cheeseman. Nice. Love having swindlers around here because they're really shy and everyone else hates them, so it's a win win. <laughs> yeah. To be honest, my, my, my thing with Swindon is partly from the office. <laughs> Brentford and QPR suck balls. See, there's just there's just some teams that just kind of like you wouldn't you wouldn't even like think about. Darton versus like Hartlepool is a lively one. Yeah, they, they, definitely a back in the day one that one, it. Sunderland Cardiff's lively, and that's can get can get quite nasty that one. You know, it's like, right, okay. Mm -hmm. Notts County fans suggesting, suggesting the Oldham's a shithole. I mean, well, I guess that's what happens when you, they're, they, you know, they're the, uh, they're the top of the league team, aren't they? So. It's you're kind of obliged to try and undermine the undermine your hosts. Oxford versus Wickham can get a bit lively. How far is the distance there between Oxford and Wickham? I'm trying to do my, my geography at this point. I like the I like the weird rivalries that you sort of go like there's no there's no reason for that. Like Scotland and Malta. You know. I've dated a girl from Oldham, it is a shit. <laughs> I've gigged, I've gigged in Oldham. Right, yeah. <clears throat> mm. 30 odd minutes from Oldham and Wickham. Okay. That's, that's close enough for a rivalry. Danny Calamari, come on, you're not scoring a goal. You need to be removed. How have you not how have you not scored? What's the point? Bin Toxin versus Wickham, it's new, not usually that bad. Yeah, you're a Wickham fan, aren't you, Raj? You're so. Philip Wary at the back post. 2 0. Mikasin. What a header that is. To be honest, when, when I was a Villa fan, we went to Villa Sunderland. That was pretty, pretty feisty. And, and of course, Villa Newcastle as well. Newcastle hate, hate Villa. Um, yeah, but. At the end of the day, it's just one of those things, isn't it? As I said, there's knobheads everywhere, sadly. Stockholm derbies are pretty heated affairs. Yeah, I can imagine, actually. I can imagine. Yeah, I care. Fulham versus Gillingham can get a bit naughty, yeah. Jure Garden, AIK and Hammer, but yes. Because because the thing is, you've got proper ultras as well. And then, of course, you've got the old firm, which is definitely a little bit tasty. Um, you know, but I'd put Sunderland and Newcastle up there with the uh, with the old firm. I mean, it's the old firm is the, is the, the worst rivalry, then it's, then it's Sunderland and Newcastle. GIS, yes. New teams. Right. This has been going alright, hasn't it? Next two matches, Larn, Dungannon. Remember Dungannon? Do you remember them? Do you remember them? And then Partnick Thistle in the SPFL Trust Trophy, then Cliftonville in the charity in the Antrim Shield, Glenavon in the league, then the Bet McLean Cup. We've had a reasonable start in the league, I think. 
it started pretty well pretty well all wins um so what we're gonna do let's go and uh drop a little drop a little follow on uh so much that we go and pop a raid in because i think we're gonna have to just come back on wednesday wednesday i think so let's see who's around shall we and find out who's playing some stuff appreciate everyone who's popped in of course tonight and, uh, and hung out with us all of our new friends and followers much appreciated obviously um as i say we're back on wednesday so do come back and uh and see us gonna go to who we've we not seen before well i'll tell you what it's not that we've not seen him before we have seen him we've seen him a lot <clears throat> we'll go and go and go and say hello to uh to Cosa bob actually uh yeah yeah i think um it's fair to say that river plate versus Boca is pretty bad um, I was trying to think more of domestic rivalries than anything, but yeah, there's definitely some big ones. Um, yeah, go and give Cos and Bob uh, a load of love. Make sure you follow him as well, by the way. He's really, really good. I absolutely love him. You'll love him as well. Um, take care, everybody. We'll see you on Wednesday. All the best. Have a nice day tomorrow. And we're going to go and crush it a bit more with Linfield, I think. Take care. All the best. Bye now. Hello, Tony Jameson and...